All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. So today we're going to be doing some FFA matches as usual. And uh, yeah, we're going to open with an island match. So let's get this. Go to multiplayer, custom, and click all the appropriate buttons. And we should be ready to party soon. Yes, yes. All right. So we're going to be doing water first. Uh, Turin uh, Island FFA, just so people know what they're getting into. And let's open that bad boy up. And uh, where are the islands? I like Island as a warm-up, you know. I think it's good. All right, so filled up pretty quickly. We got Dark Age Rush, Jaren, Silly, Whisper, Smeagol, Tron, and Boom. All right. So the suffering, suffering time. Random sieves. <laughs> yes, yes, you have to go random. That's right. All right, so everybody's going to go random. So some people are going to get like, you know, sieves like Delhi and... Uh, and yeah, should be run. Should be fun. <laughs> Smeagol, Smeagol backed out. It looks like he wants to play on the other one. Because we're going to do two today, and one is going to be standard land. So um, anybody's welcome to join. All right, Siberius gets in here, replaces him. Uh, yes. Random suffering. Uh, let me see. Yes. All right, Dark Age Rush will be back. I don't know how, uh, I don't know how to make it random, so go to Civ Selection. And uh, pick the mystery banner. Yeah, it's going to be great, man. Man, these FFA streams are a treat and the explanation. Yeah. The expansion, it's only going to get better, guys. It's only going to get better. All right, Jordan. Random sieve. Oh, no. <laughs> random islands. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I don't know why everybody dreads it so much. I mean, a couple people dread it. Hey, Dark Age Rush. I'll try for the next one. I'm a one trick. Oh, no. Dark Age Rush. I'm sure you can play. Look. Like, I can only play, like, maybe three sieves at a high level. Everything else I'm pretty potato at. But you just try and make it work. It's fun, you know? It's good. You get to, like, learn your opponent's strengths, too. <clears throat> All right. I wanted more of a true island map where Navy can be more of a factor as well. Uh, I'm going to be playing in the second game. It was likely allied, so no need there. God, I hate that shit. God, it's so stupid. All right, so now we got to rehost it. Um, it's it's a weird thing where like the first game crashes and then when you do it again, it's fine uh, Man, I didn't take a screenshot of who's in the game. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. So please um, only join if you were in the Previous one Turin Island FFA Where I'm gonna do my best to make sure it's all the same people <clears throat> All right, so I don't quite remember who was in there. I, I remember a couple names um, same people, please uh, if you weren't in the previous lobby, I don't know who was in there. I don't know who was in there. It's weird how that always kind of happens. All right, so I'm Chris. Okay, I have no idea. Book. He's saying I'm Chris. All right, so who are we missing in there? It looks like we had a couple friend requests. So shoot me a direct message if you were in the lobby, but you're not back in yet. <clears throat> Someone named why would why would you be on an alternate account? That's weird. Okay. Got it. So I don't know who else was in there. So let's give it a try. Siberius, yeah. You I, I don't know who else was in. Uh next game. We're remaking a lobby. Anyone can, but remaking. Alrighty, cool. So that will um Are you thank you, thank ready? you. Good luck. Have fun. All right, so a couple more spots. Um, I believe, yeah, Jaren was here. Jordan, it's looking to be mostly the same people. I believe Whisper was here as well. Jordan, Jaren, Whisper, Siberius. Okay, so I think we just need Siberius now, and we're pretty close to being exactly right. It's weird, yeah, and then it, like, it always crashes the first game you try and fire up, and then after that, it's uh, it's usually pretty Would, smooth. Please. <laughs> so Smeagol in chat saying kick the rat it's not me you got an imposter already huh Sharknado alright let me see if I can find Siberius here and get him invited come on does anybody know what the cause of that actual um, bug is I think this is all the same people alright so we got no team set and you just need to go ahead and turn off teams although if it's only one person it doesn't matter I think that's mostly the same folks. If it's not, shoot me a message and we'll get you into the next game. All right. Good luck, have fun. Let's party. 
Maybe reinstall doesn't happen to oh, me. Yeah, yeah, maybe I need to, but I th it feels Please. like it's more of a server issue. A no mad. Player. Yeah, it feels like it's more of a server oh, thing. I can't wait. Should be fine here, though. Should be fine. <laughs> the Superior Age game. How's it going, phone? Oh no, I got punished for. Everyone else got good island sims. We got two French, two Chinese, and I'm just here in the deli. Oh god. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no. It's either a mod or corrupt files, just reinstall. It'll wipe your mods, but you'll have. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's weird. It's only the first time I like I installed the game, so. Oh god. All right. I got Delhi Sultanate on water. Um, oh boy. So we got two French. We got Jordan and Tron on French. We got two Chinese. A Bassett a little bit weak on island maps. Um, HRE can do well. They can secure a couple relics. And I guess I have the dreaded elephant drops. So we can we can just make the you know the, the landmark that produces elephants for free and do big raids on people's island. Yeah, it's time, dude. It's time. It's time to suffer. Yeah, what other strengths does Delhi have on water? I mean, your fishing boats do have arrow boats, so if you wanted to really like go all in and karate chop somebody 1v1, I suppose that's pretty possible. But aside from that, I don't think they have any like huge perks in late game water. Did they actually fix the power grab issue? Yeah, I think they did. I think they did, Benjamin. I'm not sure though. I'll be I'll be uh, testing it out soon. What a nice thumbnail. I thought it was good. Pretty simple today. Just a little classic Monty Python. Always good for you. Welcome to the stream, guys. Yes, yes. Drops uh, much better than... I don't know. The elephants are pretty cool, though. Elephants do do the siege damage, so they can certainly do some work, but... Yep. Let the good times roll, man. Let the good times roll. All right. Game's fired up. Let's get you guys going here. Let's go set up there. Uh-huh. And did we get a corner? It doesn't look like it. It looks like we can unfortunately be surrounded here. So we're going to need to find a way to migrate over to the uh, to the old realm here. Yeah. All right. So we got a pretty small little island here. Honestly, they can reach our main TC. <clears throat> it's within cannon range. Oh, God. <laughs> so it begins. The great suffering of our time. Only if you got Ottomans. Dude, the Ottomans are, um, are really good on, on these kind of maps. The fact that you get access to the, um, let's go ahead and get the berry bushes going. Uh, not because I want to do berry bushes, but because I want to get the wheelbarrow upgrade coming for free. Let's set you up here. All right, so our TC can literally be killed. We do have a fair amount of good gold nodes, which is nice. Siberia says, I knew I should have learned Chinese at some point. Well, here you go. <laughs> Now's your chance, buddy. Now's your chance. Which new remade Civ? The Order of the Dragon is probably the one that's got me the most excited. It's just, it's just probably, uh, yeah, probably right up my alley. I really like elite like armies in general. I think it's pretty fun. So, um, yeah, we'll give it a try. See what happens. All right, let's get you, buddy. We don't need you on berry bushes for real. Let's get you on wood. Come out here. Start setting up our docks. And let's go, baby. I bet you in the first rendition of this lobby, I was going to be getting like a powerhouse sieve. It was going to put me on like French or like you know, something like that. But then the gods punish me with Delhi. <laughs> You've been crying with laughter every time you hear us mention Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons was my first impression of the UK. My very first experience in the UK was Weatherspoons. I literally didn't eat anything, just got to the airport and Spoons was the first place I went to. It was, it was, it was quite magical for sure. Yeah, I was there with uh, with old Italian Spartacus. Yeah, good times. Byzantines look fun. Japan looks good. I mean, honestly, this expansion is going to be super good. And um, for anybody who's a big kind of Age of Empires fan, I'm going to be hitting it pretty hard when the uh, when it does come out. Like, we're going to be doing predominantly Age streams and even some uh, casted 1v1s. So we haven't done those in a long time, but I'll be uploading some, you know, high-level gameplay for sure. And also doing streams of myself playing 1v1. I'm okay, but... I'm talking like people who are like Conqueror 3 and whatnot. Yeah, I know the ninjas. The Shinobi, I think. Is, is that what they were called? I believe they're able to like blend in with um, with enemy like villagers and like hamper their resources. It's so cool. It's so cool. All right. Let's fire the beast up. Do this. Get those upgrades coming. It's not like as important here, but I guess we could throw scholars in the dock. Could be a good idea. But all is calm in the realm. The old Delhi Sultanate. Scholar Garrison's 30% faster production speed. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. And contribute. Okay, so I didn't know. That's something about Delhi I didn't really take into account. Very cool. And then put the scholars in the docks. It sounds like that is the plan, my friend. All right, so we've scouted our island. We're kind of in a corner. Like, 
Yeah, I think that there could be a sacred site here. Sometimes there's that like weird corner sacred site, which would actually be really good for Delhi. That'd be awesome. All right, we'll get another boat popping out in a second. Let's turn in here. And perfect. You guys need to get the house. Dreaded supply block of the gods. And the scholars should pop out soon. Yeah, this one only takes 30 seconds to research. Might actually be worth doing. Yeah, we'll get to it. But we need to get a second dock up soon. I've seen they fixed. Yeah, they did. RK, I'm, I'm excited. Single-handedly pulling AoE4 out of the multi- Oh no, I think Age of Empires has a pretty thriving multiplayer scene. As far as what I can tell. Um, I know EGC TV is still doing great stuff. And I would imagine a lot of people were. There's there's a lot of great folks who stream this game and stuff. Absolutely. Alright. Pwn, how you doing, man? Dude, the Dark Lord Professor Pwn is going to be coming over to Age of Empires. Once Japan gets released. The prophecy, it's, uh, it's being fulfilled. Alright, manuscript trade is on the way. And um, we can grab that scholar when it's done and put him in here. Second one's popping up, and let's go ahead and start passively working on gold. All right. Let's go party here. That's a pretty fast feudal. I mean, I guess mine is really, really slow here. Yeah, we don't have the best island in the world. It's not the wor Well, yeah, we kind of have a bit of a corner position, sort of. Uh, unfortunately, we can be landed on from either side. But, um, yeah, we'll have to see. All right, let's get homeboy down there. He can go jump in here. And we can just pump out fishing boats like it's nobody's business. Kind of excited to give that a try. We're going to start working on gold now as well. Pwn's coming, dude. He's going he's gonna to become the Dark Lord. BC Cutie better watch out. All right. So we got four fishing boats right now. And uh, let's go ahead. That should increase the production. It's pretty cool. So 17 seconds down from... Okay, it's, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Put a couple of you guys here. I like that. That's 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 a neat tech for sure. Pwn <laughs> says Nani. <laughs> Nani. All right. Get another lumber camp going up here. We got our two fishing boats. I should probably be a little bit more focused here and age up quicker. Um, all right. So landmarks for Delhi. Let's see. So Tower of Victory. Dome of Faith isn't as useful here. Probably honestly just Tower of Victory it would be better. I mean, the dome will give us cheaper scholars, which I suppose is... Good for like maybe taking relics off people's islands if they're not paying attention, but I don't think that's going to happen too easily. All right, that's enough there. Let's pull you back here for the other research. And uh, Feudal Age, give it to us, precious. All right, come on, fishing boats. You know you want to. Let's do one more fishing outpost here. Um, and then I need to start scouting and trying to colonize one of the middle islands would be ideal for our next play. Yeah, we 4 is great. AoE4 is great. Okay, so let's grab you guys. Do this. Um, we definitely want to be a little bit more deep set. All right, let's do that. Cool. Get the Tower of Victory going. Going to give it a try. It's a landmark I almost never used, but it seems like it could be pretty cool. And uh, we need to get a transport ship. So let's get our transport ship, take some villagers over to the island, and try and set up a TC here. So Tower of Victory. Uh, and Madras is increasing the attack of infantry when produced within their influence. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so we just need to make sure to produce our troops there. Scholars and docs count towards research. All right, allied treks in chat. We got the uh, we got the Delhi overlord teaching me the ways. All right, so the transport ship is out. Kind of looks like a warship, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of does. All right, let's grab you guys. Do this. Load up here, and you do that. Do this, and uh, you get in the dock there, buddy. Although we could honestly go here and try and grab the sacred site in the middle. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. So they're going to get in there. Let's go ahead and cancel this for now. We can come back to that and get ready for the age up here. All right, so let's go see if we can find anything in the middle. Don't let Pwn be a tyrant. He sure is, dude. He's going to he's gonna take over this game. Okay, where's that middle island? Because usually there's a sacred site, which for Delhi, if we have Sanctity, is going to be super money. Okay, this looks like it's it for starters. All right, perfect. Just what we wanted was uh, some stone, actually. So we can go get that. Scout can go see here. And let's go scout our corner here. I'm curious if there's any land over there. And then the boat can just go check out the rest. All right. So all's good. Let's go ahead and get the eco upgrades. Eco upgrades. Yeah, we got all those. Let's get the food and the deer. Why not? And cool. So, yeah, now we need to start getting sanctity here. Although we're going to want to get a scholar first if we can. Nice, a couple relics on the island. If we can get our clutches on those, I don't think we will. Our aging uh, process isn't too good here, but let's go ahead and set up a tower here and a tower here and see if we can just get some emplacements and you know try and get those. 
We're gonna play very defensively, probably even build a stone keep on our main island. Try and chill out that way. Um, Fast Castle hopefully will come soon. Get a marketplace so we can um, do this, do that, and then we want to get some spearmen here so we can guard those posts. And who? Okay, it's Emperor Jarn in the middle. So he's hanging out. Sometimes, like I said, there's a sacred site on this corner. It's a weird thing on this map. Oh, that's right. I need blacksmiths too. Let's go ahead and get the blacksmiths. Blacksmiths. Oh, hello. Oh, geez. Okay. So somebody's somebody's towering up uh, pretty aggressively over there. It looks like it's Tron. Tron's getting a little crazy. Okay. So we got Sanctity researching, albeit very slowly. Tower's coming up. We've got a barracks of our own. A lot of villagers. We're just going to be selling food to uh, age up, though, essentially. Should be fine. Blacksmith's on the way. Let's do this. Get the spearmen going. And uh, just get the double racks going. And then, of course, we'll build a madras out here to try and uh, take advantage of the Tower of Victory conditions and all that. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. English over there, too. All right, so let's uh, get an arrow tower here. Should be able to help us defend that point initially. And let's just start selling some resources until we can get to castle. All right, very close to castle age now after that sell. We're a little bit behind, but we are gonna be able to get the tech here. And we have the two towers coming up. <laughs> the two towers. All right, cool. So let's get you guys and do the compound of the defender back here is fine. We can do that like so. And hopefully we could just make some men at arms and, and grab these goodies. I know we do have a scholar here, so if we could just initially grab the relics. All right, let's get you in there. And um, we have the sanctity being researched. We do have a sacred site right here, which we might be able to actually grab. We need to get keeps on our main island. You never know if somebody like Smeagol is going to land up on your shores and, and give you the give you the business, right? So, got to put some respect on that name. All right, guys. I love island maps. I think they're very fun. I don't like them for actual like 1v1s, but for FFAs, I think they make for a very fun format. All right, you think you think you're getting this relic, huh? All right, hopefully not. Oh no, shoot that, shoot that, shoot that, shoot the scholar. <laughs> yes, yes, be gone. Not today, buddy. Not today. All right. Okay, let's get you back on the stone. And um, we probably will not make friends doing that type of stuff. That's for sure. But let's do this and then come down here. All right, let's get the spearman upgraded. And now we can go grab the relics here. So let's do this. And the transport ship, I don't know what it's doing here, but we need to get the relics back to the mainland because we're going to get probably pushed here. I would imagine the HRE is going to want some blood. Let's do that. Grab this and then here. Cool. And you come back here. Dropped it off for now. Let's get you guys going and um, upgrades, upgrades. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get you guys doing this. And um, we could do a TC there as well. All right, so three relics for Jelly is pretty good. Oh shit, okay, well, there goes there goes that whole water operation, huh? All right, let's do this. And does he have anything to land with? Okay, he's got like a big old fleet here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take that. So we're gonna make some warships and see if we can get lucky and deal with it in time. All right, and the uh, loading ship is going to be coming over here. And we need to get a keep in our main base stat because we're about to potentially get attacked. And the keep would basically shut down one initial push. All right, so we're getting some warships here. Uh-huh. Good. And the other relic is here. Let's do this. Load you guys up there. And then you guys just run over there. One of you can stay here. And wow, that was that was a pretty scary little fleet. So yeah, Jaren Jaren's rolling dirty. He's he's nearby. All right, so let's grab you guys. Do this, and we need to come back, and we can just set up the first keep right here. And uh, we need to get the villages fortresses going too with Delhi. But the triple relic is um is a very very good start. It's a very very good start for us because now we can just kind of piece out off this island here. Sanctity is probably still being researched, but let's come down here. Keep is on the way. Outstanding. And come on, come on, buddy. Make it to the island, make it to the island. Compound of the Defender, you have Village Fortresses. I used to play Delhi a lot in 1v1 back in the olden days, but they were, they're completely different after these, these reworks. All right. Oh, did he jump in there? Yeah, he did with the Relic, that's funny. Okay. All right, so let's continue our scouting operation now. Feeling pretty good. I, I don't care so much if I lose the mainland now. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. 
Uh huh. Let's see this and this. It's so cool that Delhi can build stone walls. I mean, they do have so much about the Civ is just so cool. The flavor and the uh, the play style and everything. It's very neat. I'm gonna need some production on this main island though, for sure. Military. All right. So yeah, being harried there a little bit, no problem. Okay, how are we looking here? Yeah, walls are coming up. We're going to be getting some nice free gold from that. And um, as far as this goes, we could do this and build a TC right here. Not a bad idea to try and get access to some of that stone. Uh, Whisper is north of us, which probably means there's going to be some sort of an invasion at some point. I'm pretty sure he's a high level player. Um, so let's go do this just to kind of keep it honest. The dreaded potato wall of the gods. All right, so yeah, big fleet's coming for us. Uh, we have a little bit of a presence on the water, but not much. I don't know if we're going to be able to fight this off. We do have our three warships, so... Or four warships, excuse me. And it looks like he's going to be piecing out here. Great. My bad. Uh, it's, it's fine. You don't need to apologize. You got the plays, man. You got the plays. Uh-huh. Let's get all these upgrades going. And now we can go Imperial. Now, the question is... Yeah, I feel like... I want to build something on the Middle Island, but... I'm thinking I'm just going to go all in on trying to survive on my, my, my main island with like a wonder at some point. I was going to build a landmark here, but overall, um, I don't feel confident in holding the island here. Alright, so we're going to get the wall off of the gods, keep uh, tabs on the north. Let's get you guys in there. Cool, let's do this, and then we can go ahead and get you guys. So let's get the uh, madrasa here. Outstanding. Another one of these. And then you guys come up to the top side and set up a nice little keep there too. Alright, so our scouting has come to an end. We've discovered our uh, our, our foes. And um, now we have the TC here, which is going to be able to produce quite a few villagers. Could have just built a keep, but I think we're okay with that. Fishing boats nearby here. No Mortal Kombat yet. And uh, yeah, we're going to be imp in a second. We can just start on those like long-term upgrades, which usually take 10,000 years to finish. But Dr. Silly saying I'm too weak. Please don't kill me. Scholar can go jump back in there. Oh, look, look. Whisper's, Whisper's coming to get the relics, but they're all gone. Yes, good, good. Give me the deadly relics. All right, cool. We're going to need some more um, wood villagers here, probably. Okay, let's get some infantry here. Cool. All right. Upgrades. Let's get Tithe Barns first and foremost. Um, those are all coming along nicely. We have our big Chungus Elephant Squad, which is going to be ready to party here in a minute. And uh, now we just need to get the Madrasas going. All right. So I feel like we're in okay shape. Let's pop that off. Pop that off. Looking good. Village Fortresses should be finishing in a second. So then our keeps are going to be able to produce bills, which is outstanding. Really, really cool tech for sure. And how's our navy, our fishing going? That's eh, not bad. It's respectable. Yeah, great. Uh, exactly. The island does have pretty good wood production. That's uh, that's for sure. All right. Give me all the text, precious. Give them all to me. Not a lot of space, though, to work with. That's the only thing I'm not liking about this island so much, is that it's a little bit kind of close quarters here. We're going to need some siege workshops to build some spring alts in case I get attacked. We're going to want that. And our eco should shoot up, and we'll we'll slow down the eco. I do have access to the trade here, but I'm I'm kind of happy to just chill out for now. I don't want you know Tron Tron could push us off this island here. We're not like too heavily committed into it. Mm. Could set up a siege workshop and maybe a keep or something. How much stone is left here? 177. Let's just go purge that real quick. I just want to get as much wood as I can. I'm I'm pretty happy with my main island to be honest. It feels like it's it's pretty solid. Let's get some more fishing boats, and then we can. Get these techs all done. Okay, Jaren coming in, killing my villagers here. So let's get in the TC. We might have to consider war with him soon. Um, if he's going to be trolling us like this. You know, it, it, it could it could be. It could be indeed. Alright, so army tactics. Let's get you guys loaded up into the here. Um, being harried on the coastline. And cool. And then we can get some big warships. This guy like trapped or something? Okay. I just wanted to build a wall so if somebody does like a weird northern landing on me, I would be able to react to it. The south I have pretty well secured. 
Um, and now we are being poked here, but we pretty much got everything we wanted off the island. The sacred site is really good. Obviously, it's very strong. All right. How are we doing in the eco count? Looking fine. Um, is there any more stone on the island? I believe there is this patch. It's, yeah, it still has a little bit left. All right. So let's get the Dumbo upgrades, Archer upgrades, everything we want. Everything I wanted. Some good that's what she said jokes in chat. Respect. The brave Deli Spearman hanging in there. I'm actually just going to straight up wall this. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that'll buy me some time there and we're going to be able to get that. All right, so those upgrades are coming along nicely. Um, let's do this, build another one so we can get the big army upgrades going a little bit quicker. Hand cannoneers, yes please. Optimize and optimize here. And man, that's a lot of wood on the north side for sure. As long as we don't lose to some weird, you know, siege or something. Should be okay. Alright, back to gold you go. And let's do this, and then make sure we have the Tower Victory upgrade going. Outstanding. Alright, yeah. I definitely like that army comp. I think it's going to be pretty good. And we have the Triple Relic too, plus the Sanctity. We're not trading at the moment. Jaren did come troll us. So there might come a moment in which we want to attack. I'm not sure. This is fully walled now, which is great. Um, so that's going to take people some time to wrestle from us. So we got Whisper to the north of us. Probably want to get one more keep here if possible. Let's go ahead and hit this again. Great. And then the, the Deli Fonser, the Deli Fonser coming in numbers. Outstanding. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're at 112 eco. It's probably enough. I think it's probably enough. I don't think we need any more eco after that. So let's go ahead and cancel these bills. Not get too greedy. Some people just reaching Imperial Age, which is a good sign. A little bit behind the times. And um do this. Keep our little rat's nest here, and we can keep our little rat's nest here. It'll it'll give us a little pocket on the island. Yeah, those will be stone walls later, absolutely. Yeah, for now though, they're they're hanging out. They are what they are. Alright. So Jaren is here. He probably has a bigger navy than me, I would suspect. From what I saw earlier, I do have a respectable navy, and plus we're gonna get some Jebex right now, some warships. Soon we'll get a keep going. Looks good. As a matter of fact, we can throw one like right here. Gotta make our island into like a porcupine. We basically want to de-incentivize people from attacking our beloved island. Okay, looks like somebody's going down already. Somebody's paying the troll toll. Our food kind of sucks. We should probably optimize our fishing. Um, it's kind of a very far away route at the moment. So let's grab you guys. Do this. No, that is not a fishing building. All right, where the hell is it? My brain is just... Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of accidental there. But let's head over this way and do a little bit of fishing. All right, so we got a good force, I suspect. Um, it's a respectable little navy here. And we're going to need some transport ships. So let's do this. Make some transport ships. And we're going to need to delete some of the wood villagers right now because we're just going a little bit bananas on the wood. Should, you know, is it a bad thing per se, but... All right. Do that, and then they can turn in here. Cool. So that's going to be able to produce if need be. A lot of the upgrades are finishing up. And um, what else are we missing here? Yeah, the, the Delhi elephants getting ready to party. FFA is a survival game with micro. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's an app description. Okay, so yeah, Jaren is trolling me again. Um, do I want to keep the villagers on this island? Probably. Could probably afford to cut some of these guys. Let's get rid of these. Alright, I think that's enough. We still have so many on wood even after that, that great karate chop right there. Alright. Uh, five transport ships should do the trick. Okay. And let's grab you guys and you guys and bring you over here. And see what we can do. Jaren's going pretty bananas on me here. He is just absolutely blowing up my nape, my coast here. Nasty, nasty. Okay, let's do this. Cool, let's load up, boys. And let's get rid of the transport ships. Where are they? 
Jaren is the Corsair Lord of the Seven Seas. I think we should be able to defend our coastline if need be. Yeah, get in there. Come on. Come on. Load up. Load up, please. All right. That looks more or less fine to me. So now we head down this way with our big old party boat, and we just do this. And we have the remainder of the Navy. Just kind of form a bit of a blockade and attack here. And we try and land. We even have one ship, which is a bit of a distraction. And go, my minions, go. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a successful landing. Let's get in land before he can react. Go, go, go. And then uh, we just start setting up keeps and just pressuring and you know doing all that stuff. Because his navy is going to come, but... I am weak. <laughs> Jaren says... This is what he gets, dude. He was attacking me, you know? Acting all innocent. I'm going to get bullied out of water for sure, but um, not before we do some nastiness here. Oh, is he just straight up a Bassett? Oh, that feels bad. That feels real bad. All right, well. We're going to start building some siege workshops in the base. Let's get a cannon emplacement here. Um, we can delete these transport ships for supply. You guys set up wood there. And yeah, no, he's just going to... He's basically just dead. <laughs> I mean, he's not even going to have a chance to retaliate. All right. All right, so let's make some bombards. The men are going to take down the villagers there. Okay, one, two, and three. Delete these. See that? Cool. So, yeah, he's making some stuff in response, but a little bit a little bit greedy on the, uh, on the department for sure. Oh, we don't need traps. The dreaded villager horde, I know. They're coming. Well, you know, I wouldn't have attacked him, but then he kept pressing my island, so it's kind of like, okay, maybe he wants to kill me. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But, um, yeah, that's one way to get an island with a lot of resources, right? Because now we can just start, you know, feasting on the wood on this island. Um, once his, his landmark here is toast. Yeah, we have, like, five bombard cannons. That's the Abbasid struggle, man. That's the Abbasid struggle on island. I mean, they have a lot of powerful tools, but... All right. GG. And uh, I, I, I don't want to... Let's get rid of the Trebs. I don't know why I built Trebuchets. All right, so we'll start clearing off buildings here. There's a market. Um, there's not enough space for me to trade efficiently with it. Oh, hey, look at that. There's actually a relic here. Hell yeah, that's that's a nice little grab. We know we have a keep here to protect our villagers and our investment and everything. Um, let's grab a couple of you guys. Set up towers all over the island just for vision so we can see if anybody's um, going for it. And yeah. GG, Jarn. Yeah, it was, it was, you had a big navy, but there was just that slight vulnerability, right? That sometimes happens. You just get caught. All right. Let's go up there. How are we looking? These fishing boats are just like, you know, I don't feel like fishing today. I'm not, I'm not in the mood. My people can starve. It's fine. All right, so let's grab that relic. We can even just keep it on this island for now. Not a huge deal. And keep clearing. Whisper isn't being a very nice landlord. Yeah, I would imagine so. I would imagine there's some uh, some hostility going on over there. Now would be a good time to try and get some trade going too. Um, so we could do like corner trade. That's It's a pretty mediocre trade route, to be honest. I'd like to discover something a little bit further away. We can go see if there's any down here, and then we can do a north to south here. So what we'll do is we'll delete this, and we will go ahead and set up a dock here and try and see if there's any trade routes I can do. Because Jaren probably has docks, you know? All right, buddy, go grab that. It looks like red is coming in, Tron. It's fine. We don't really, we don't, like, even care that much about the middle island now. The sacred side is nice and everything, but... Holy shit, look at that fleet. Oh my god. That is an angry, angry uh, horde of units. Oh, now we... Do we want to delete these? I want to see if he's got one on the southern end. This might be as good as it gets right here, this one. So we might have to just leave that. Um, but for now... Alright, so let's do this and do this. 
seven and make trade ships. So we're going to make a batch of trade ships and see if we can get some trade going here while we continue clearing off this island space. All right, cool. And yeah, life's good. We're hanging in there. Red's going to take this back here. Um, we could do a Stonewall Tower, which actually be pretty funny. Be able to pop the knights. Let's see if they're paying attention there. Okay. But yeah, we got to get trade going now too. Oh, I'm going to feast on this island. All this all this wood's mine. Plus he already built a wall, like around a lot of it. So that kind of protects part of it for me, which is great. Yeah, all right. The dreaded Delhi drop has, has done it. So we can pull you guys back. Um, I probably want to make some transport ships again to get this army back. Shouldn't have deleted the other ones. I thought I was going to need to produce more, but um, it wasn't the case. <laughs> Look at these little like towers. Yeah. Anything we can do to hold on to that is going to be great. Okay, so let's go here and you can connect you here. Let's see what that trade route looks like. Um, that can't be it. Yeah, when they start doing the full trade route, we'll, we'll see what it actually looks like. How's our eco? 123. That's plenty. Get on the walls. <laughs> Build it from the walls, minions. Look, look, look at these valiant, valiant villagers fighting the evil French knights off. I love it. That's pretty funny. All right, so let's take our army and just go play there. Um, our main base, we would probably have plenty of time to react to any threats, any substantial threats. Okay, let's cut this and this. And optimize that. Then we want to make you make a bunch of archery ranges around it. Yes, my minions. Yes. Because <laughs> we're just going to build a mosque and get that back like real quick. So, should be fine. Load up, team. Uh, the trade is 30 and 30. It's pretty respectable. Definitely definitely could be worse. Let's just like kind of make trade ships as we go and see what we can get done here. All right, so now we just run down, set up a mosque, and then we can get back up to the walls and keep lumberjacking. The secret haggard trade, I know. That's the plan. That is the plan, man. So I could do some sort of middle island aggression against Tron and company. Um, I'm happy to accumulate wealth right now. All right, so let's get you down there. Have you guys just lumberjack here. Um, let's set up a tower here. We can get like a single cannon emplacement just to make sure nobody's trading for free. Because that is a pretty sweet trade spot, right? All right. Totally forgot to get siege upgrades. Lovely. Are they all in one building? No. Okay, good. It does. The AI does wisely split them up here. Let's purge all that. Get all this space going. Cool, totally forgot about the siege upgrades. MLG plays. Uh, uni upgrades are about done, which is great. And you guys just keep lumberjacking. Great, so we're getting this back. We do have an army here now. Um, it's a decent one. And we could build some infrastructure here, like some troopers. That'd be terrible. Yeah, let's do that. And then build some siege workshops. And see if we can get like a little force going on this island. All right, outstanding. Um, we may have been discovered, so I'm going to pull my trade ships right now and try and flee the scene. That's Tron. So maybe we take this army over and just go hammer Tron's island economy. Um, we don't really have much in the way of navy, so we're probably going to want to get some of that. Although, yeah, we're, we're just going to have to relinquish some of this. He discovered the trade ships. Tron's island is all the way up here, though. Is he French? Oh, he is French. Okay. So yeah, we got to we gotta do something about him. Take down those French knights. We're going to lose most of our fishing here, which is a shame. Um, I could delete some eco. What are we at? 120. Get some navy popping out. Unfortunately, it's, uh, you know, not in the best position here. Can the cannons fit through there? It looks like they can. Okay, so let's try and push him off the center island. Punishment for the uh, for the crimes against the Delhi. See if we can get these uh, these bit, these bits going here. Okay, okay. We can make some men at arms on the island. 
Holy shit, Orange is here too. All right, so it's not just it's not just that player. It's it's a whole bunch of party stuff going on. Whole bunch of party people. All right, let's keep moving. Take those down. Take you down. Pass it around. Now get the keep going. Get in on those villagers. And it looks like we have been able to successfully defend here. The trade ships are being hunted. And there's a huge bow chat embargo there from uh, Siberius. All right, so force red off the island. Take control of that. Um, let's keep getting as big of a navy as we can. We don't want to just give up our entire fishing core, right? It looks like he's leaving. Oh, he destroyed the docks. That's fine. I don't mind too much. It was it was very little trade, so we still have a good economy regardless. All right, let's delete these trade ships for now. They're just taking taking up supply basically. Pair that, and you guys can get deleted. Also, we have taken the middle. He's just sent out a couple of Revolquins to go die. Potentially. All right. Outstanding. Oh, the, oh, both. Okay, interesting. That's something I didn't really think of. Both Sacred Sites are on the middle. So that gives me a pretty good win con. If I can just set up a Helm's Deep on the middle of the map. And laugh it up. All right. Let's get these guys. We're still at 79. Or at 79 eco at the moment. Um, yeah. Love Villager's still doing good. I guess it's because I have this, like, Navy, too. Okay, Dr. Silly Willy is still still very much alive. Okay, so let's grab some villagers, migrate to the islands. We have our navy, so we don't lose our pole fishing fleet for nothing. Def not at this point. My keyboard's broken, the, sp the, space, the, the space bar key is broken, it's very annoying. That'd be death. Alright, so Bombard Cannon's doing great, sinking these haggard friendships. Okay. Take these down. Transport ship's coming out. And let's get you guys. Pull you down. Let's load up. And load up here. The main island, again, I think could respond to a threat pretty well. We have a good surplus of, um, of food and whatnot. So let's get a little bit more military infrastructure on the mainland just to be safe. And um, now, uh, unfortunately, I can't wall that one. Yeah, I can't quite get the wall off on that one. All right. So our transport ship should be all loaded up. We got the 10 villagers. Let's go start securing the middle. We'll build um, some keeps there and produce vills. And thankfully, this island operation is still going very good for us. Nobody's trading down there. So I guess I could uh, start working some trade to the bottom here. It's a, it's a respectable route. It's not the best, not the worst, but it, it'll do, pig. It'll do. Yeah, well, it's only my space bar is messed up. So when I like try and hit the space bar key, it just like like hits it like four times instead of once. It's it's a weird one, but it's it's not a huge deal, honestly. All right, so we got the sacred site. That wall never finished. Let's go do this. Scholar's chilling out, and we have access to the island now. I don't know what the French are coming back for, but we're gonna get some free ships if they if they decide to stay. Okay, they're probably gonna land a bunch of stuff here soon. I would guess. All right, so let's go and build a couple uh, keeps here in the middle if we can. So we're gonna build one. Probably we want to build it like inland, like out of range. This one we have a pretty funny little defense here. Definitely pretty hilarious. And you guys can come to the island also. Might need a little bit of help defending it. Could be kind of a cool idea to do like a wall around this keep just to make it like extra tough to take down. Hmm, against like a night landing. Kind of like that. It's like heavy metal. Let's, let's give that a try. Experiment with some weird base building this game. I suspect the English are still here. And um, let's get you and seal the breach. And then we can build a gatehouse here. I mean, there's still way too many people left for me. To, I, I, I have zero intentions of going for sacred. 35-35 uh, on that trade. Pretty good. Once uh, we run out of resources on the island, we'll definitely do more of that. Alright. Not a huge army here, but it's something. These guys will build some wood villagers. And our eco needs to be um, rebuilt now for sure. Alright team, let's go. Let's hustle it up. 
gatehouse, do this, and seal it. Looking good, all's calm here, trade's going fine. Our food bank is probably the most mediocre aspect of our economy. Um, these villagers randomly just chopping in the wrong areas. Probably need to get more food going. Red coming down here to troll again. It kind of feels like the Ottoman game all over again, you know? Alright, so lumber jacket. Let's pull you guys down this way. And that's right, we do have our own navy now. We might as well put those bad boys to use, huh? I mean, you know, we pay them the big bucks for a reason. Yeah, all right, so the English are up there. I suspect they're not even on the island. We'll lumberjack our way through. And here comes the navy. Let's get the demo ships to pull back. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we win this, but regardless, it should be fine. All right, let's uh, get you in there. See if he's paying attention. He probably, I don't think he is right now. No, he's trying to, trying to panic. Yep, nice. Good demo ship charges. Now the bombards flanking from the coast. Pretty epic. Able to hold those guys back. And I think we got pretty much every upgrade. No, we didn't get that one. So soon we'll pull our scholars and just free up the supply. Yeah, it can be Hankra, but I think against this many good players, it wouldn't be that easy. You know, there's there's a lot of good players in this game. I prefer to wait for, you know, a couple more people to get karate chopped for. I'm not I'm not as good as you are. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. I think at my best, I'm like a conqueror. I mean, I've gotten conqueror one a couple times, but that's kind of where I plateau, you know. Okay, no idea what these guys are doing. Should be lumberjacking. Let's do that. Um, blue is up there. That's Whisper. Whisper is Whisper is playing what? HRE? The Holy Romans, eh? I kind of want to just hoard as much re as much resources as I can. You know, get as much of a lead as I possibly can. Just make only elephants and go two secrets. You'll win this easily. Uh, I don't think so, because the navy can. He could, they could have navies here, like bombarding the sacred site that I'm trying to defend, and uh, it would be, it'd be hard to keep a standing army on there. Yeah, just go battering rams. I know, it's funny. All right, so how do we want to do this? In the middle. Let's get you guys back. Let's get you guys back. And uh, let's build a gatehouse here. Outstanding. And let's build a bunch of archery ranges just for the dread elephants. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Build another tower here, see what's going on. All right. Then we can do control group eight here. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little bit crunk, huh? All right, so we're gonna start making some elephants here. Run back to the uh, towers here. It's an interesting one. It's got a lot of demo ships hiding here, so we could just make some uh, arrow ships to, you know, counter counterplay that a little bit. All right, cool. Yeah, here, here goes nothing. All right, so you guys do this, this, and this. So he's coming to shut down the sacred sites. Kind of makes our decision a little bit easier. Certainly not like a lot of landing power. It's just a couple land snakes. And the demo ships are coming. Let's do a little uh, zergling split. Eh, could be worse. All right, so let's get you guys do this. I think we go to get ready. Okay, red's here now too. Hmm. Okay, let's get within the keep. This is it's kind of a cool keep position, although it's a little bit vulnerable here. Need to wall that. The Elephants, the Delifants are here. Let's pull them over to deal with these last troopers of the HRE. And uh, yeah, we just make a big old navy. Do that and get a cannon tower there. Keep hoarding resources all day, every day. All right. Yeah, I mean, that invasion was cool. It didn't accomplish a whole bunch, but... Yes, and the Delhi Tower Elephants are on the way. Let them feast. Yeah, both sacred sites are vulnerable to see, exactly. It's a, it's a little bit scary. Okay, how are we looking here? Looks like there's a dead player over there. That was Jaren. The invasion has been thwarted. Didn't really do much, but did certainly scare me. That's, that's, that's for sure. All right, so let's go get in the Palace of the Sultan to speed that up. Okay. Are we looking on the island? We're doing okay. Looks like some navy is around there cackling. Let's take our uh, navy here. Go see what's crack. Oh, he's trying to trade. Okay, that makes sense. That that makes that that makes that a much more um, logical play. All right. We're just gonna distract from this side while we go with our our haggard navy here. Although I don't know if it's good enough. Yeah, we have probably too many arrow ships. The idea was to deal with demos, because I'm pretty sure he had some. Okay, let's do this. 
Pretty sure I stopped all the demos there. That was good. Yeah, still got it. Old man still got it. Granted, his navy's bigger than mine, so I think he's probably in okay shape here. Um, as far as the mainland goes, we could do a little funny business. Yeah, we could have some fun with the Elefante Legion. Let's pull back, see if we can salvage our ships. How's everything looking here? Red is trying to reestablish a foothold. Nice, nice. Um, our keep here should prevent mining, though. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I'm, I'm definitely in a couple wars at the moment, which are not uh, great for us. All right, so we got the warships coming around the bend. Did not notice those that time. It's a little bit slow on the draw. He took down quite a few of our ships there. Okay, one and two, and hey, the trade ship took one, like a champ. All right, demo, let's get you in here. His auto attack did nail that. Come on, come on. He's got a lot. He's he's pretty. He's mass producing. I might have to just give up water here, at least on that side. Uh, but regardless, I'm gonna have to figure out food somewhere else. Orange is here, trying to land on the island. Um, so let's make some cannon emplacements here and here. Let's keep those guys uh, at bay. And then um, we're probably gonna wanna come down here. Yeah, because he's his navy's like three times my size. This is not gonna go well, regardless. I mean, the little docks are trying, but... Yeah, and we're like kinda tight on gold right now too. I'm probably gonna have to start hitting the gold nodes. A little bit harder. Um, all right, let's get you guys to do this. Do that, go jump at the gold, take it while you can. And yeah, our wood economy on this island's good. Thankfully, nobody's going after our food in the corner, which is nice. That's uh, it's been more or less safe. Blue trading mid, yeah, I know that. Uh, I I do know that. Could make some hand cannoneers here, maybe some spring alts. Look, he's he he doesn't like whisper, doesn't like being exposed for his treacherous tricks. Still something. All right, back you go. Let's get to our little corner defense here. All right, so we got our cannon emplacement. Uh, yeah, we want to actually finish those. Our wood is good. Let's go forth, my minions. All right, so let's target the little demo ships down if we can. The demo ship clash in the middle. These villagers are going to have to pull back here. Yeah, I just don't have the resources to continue fighting against them. Especially with red on my heels, I don't know if red's gonna come for blood or what's what's the play the play is gonna be. Okay, let's do this. Keep running back. Hopefully he'll keep coming this way, and we can spring our haggard tricks over there, which is gonna be very funny. Oh, the Great Wall Gatehouse is being built here by China. China wants a piece of this land, huh? All right then, you might get it. Blue coming down here. He's destroying the uh, old docks. Just certainly a good call. All right, down here. Down here you go. Head over this way. And uh, yeah, Blue is still down here with uh, quite a bit of a navy. Okay, and then load up here. You guys load up here. Middle's looking more and more precarious. <laughs> Orange is the bow tyrant. He is. Yeah, there's... I mean, I'm Delhi. I, uh, I'm not going to be able to contest late game water against a lot of these guys, probably. All right. Let's fire it up. We got some distraction ships in there to make our numbers look bigger. Uh, I suspect he's got probably a fortified coast. If he's being that aggressive. I mean, you got to expect this, right? All right. Let's load it in. Yeah, this is the risky run of playing only water. He could be in danger here, for sure. All right, so let's get you guys back. And yeah, we're losing our food, so we're going to have to figure that out. But regardless, this is going to be uh, Gotham's Reckoning here. All right, houses and houses. He's got a couple troopers, but not going to be a whole lot. Oh, for more than I expected, actually. So let's pull back down here, get the rams going for the houses. Sounds good. Sounds good, Orange. Okay, he's got a couple men at arms, but we do have Delhi fonts. The Delhi fonts should be pretty good here. Let's get these guys, get this keep up if possible. Men at arms still grinding away. 
Yeah, he's got all his keeps there, which is pretty nasty. All right. So now let's do this. Get you popping off. Elephant's doing great. Um, but we just need to supply block him, basically. Lock him out of supply. Get a cannon tower here. Let's get you guys garrisoned. Let's start getting some uh, uh, bombards coming out. And blue's just harrying my coast, so I need to get some uh, like island food stat. Um, I think I might have lost all my bills here, actually. All right, keep plowing through the houses. Let's keep you guys back. That was a good little raid. We definitely did some substantial damage. Um, do I want to continue said raid? Is the question. Probably just continuing to make some more siege equipment wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. If you guys keep doing it, let's get you behind the house. If you can. And uh, yeah, it looks like some sort of a naval raid probably came by and cleaned all these out. It's got to be having some supply issues here, I would wager. All right, let's get you guys there. We have a cannon emplacement popping out. And uh, cool, cool, cool. He's got to dive that cannon, I would imagine. Let's even get this bombard down. And uh, yes, another wave's coming if he doesn't prepare for it. All right, so do we have the boys here? We obviously have a, another Dread Legion here ready to go. Let's just make some more uh, of you guys. Come down this way. And yes, good. My keep is my keep is definitely hemorrhaging resources from him. But that mid trade is what really needs to be stopped, if I can. Let's come over here, set up some towers. Cause that's uh, I don't know. He might he might be getting not too much, but all right. So it's garrison you guys up. You guys can potentially load in. No, not gonna happen. All right. So we're pulling back here. And we just need to resecure our southern borders. Oh man, they, yeah, they're, we're being harried on a lot of fronts. All right, but thankfully we can reproduce villagers very easily. And if anybody tries to land on us, we're, we're more or less fine. Yeah, a lot of a lot of HRE troopers paying the troll toll here. He's definitely not happy about that. We we did some good damage. All right, so looking here, we just go to the southern border um, and try and rebuild that. Our villager is basically in the can at the moment. Um, might need to do some land-based food back here. Although I think we could probably reestablish the shoreline. Yeah, let's try and reestablish the shoreline. This is so funny that this is still like actually happening. Okay, so he's got a good navy. He's probably one of the strongest people in the game right now, I would expect. Uh, yeah, Red's going to push us off the island, which is fine. Nothing we can do about that. So we just have to yield the middle right now. This 2v1 is, is really hard. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if... Yeah, he's not paying attention here, so he can probably slip some repairs in and make it even worse for those troopers. Yeah, that's pretty hilarious. He notices. Then we just re-garrison. LOL. And um, as far as everything else goes, we got our vills coming out here. We need to get the food back online, although the, ba the Bow Chad Master is, is not going to be a kind uh, naval overlord for sure. The, the master of the chads. Yeah, red killing our shit in the middle too. And um, yeah, we just got to get our keeps producing bills. And just have them come up here for now. We're going to probably do land-based food on the bottom here. Yeah, this is hard. This is hard. A lot of pressure here. HRE getting a Ramstein in. So we're just going to run around and kind of Benny Hill a little bit and then jump back in the keep. I suspect he's got plenty there. Um, our bank is okay, but yeah, then Orange is also killing us too. They're coming after me pretty good this game, guys. I don't know, Orange has got his, his business there. I thought Siberius and I were friends. Okay, no way in hell I'm defending both of these. Go, my minions. He's got a lot of defensive buildings there, though. It's certainly not easy to take down. Uh, but yeah, we just kind of chill and amass units here and then try and resecure water on the south side, I think is the plan. Orange has been uh, pretty tyrannical. Okay, let's try and reestablish navy. I didn't have the other sacred site, but thankfully a lot of our haggard buildings are still there causing disruption. 
Um, HRE's base is there. Blue trading on uh, West Island Red while you are at it. <laughs> we got to like try and politic a little bit here because this is a uh, this is the tough situation. Yeah, Tron might be clearing the middle for Wonder. It's fine. There's nothing I can do until I deal with Whisper probably or find a way to. I mean, if I can land on his island again, I could probably do some good work, but it ain't going to be easy. That's for sure. Um, let's get some big elephants because they're awesome. Yes, release the elephants. We still have a lot of wood on our island. Um, here is going okay for us. We do have some semblance of food back. All right, let's try and get that. I thought Orange Shetty was my friend, dude. We were we were we were once homies, but I guess that time has uh, come and passed. Gee, is he really gonna ram sign me here? He smells the blood in the water. My villagers will valiantly defend this keep. He's gonna have to send more than this. All right. Okay, so let's torch these down if possible. It's fine. Not sure what he's trying to accomplish here with this scoot and shoot. I mean, I can do that all day too. Yeah, we have a cannon emplacement there now. Villager's still popping out. He's gonna get that down, no problem. Red is clearing off the island for sure for a wonder. Let's get you. And the rams are on the way. He ain't gonna get this keep while I draw breath. Shoot the shitty one right there. And um, let's go ahead down here and make a bunch of stables. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. Thankfully, this keep is just like a little bit too inland for him. And then he moves back in. Okay, the villager count. Man, Delhi's ability to rebuild off the keeps is pretty funny. Like, my eco is coming back very quickly. The dreaded big ram plays from him. All right. I'm sure that was worth all of his APMs. Uh... Huh. Okay, let's make some more fishing boats. Then pull back here. I'm gonna probably push him off this island here. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, righty, cool. Uh, oh, I never got my elephant upgrade, or my um, knight and horseman upgrades. That's pretty haggard. Well, we'll garrison a couple of you guys here. Yeah, I guess I was just so in the zone with the other stuff. Okay, so the HRE base is going to be hard as hell to kill. I mean, they have like, wait, one, two, three. All four of their landmarks are very close, though. If you landed with enough bombards, you could probably, like, take them out pretty quick. Um, then we want to make some of you. We got the horseman upgrades coming. We could also just make some elephants here, some elephantes. See, that's how you do it. You, you just do this. Okay, so can we repair through this? Do we want to repair through this? It's two trebs right now. Yeah, we're going to make some Gazi Riders. Even though they're a little bit low tech, it's fine. They'll still be able to dive, no problem. Um, and I think we can hold here. Maybe. Gold, please. I fought for this island earlier, but I mean, he's ahead of me. I, I just had a brutal war and I have like no gold income, so... I'm definitely not like a power player in this game at the moment. I'm more of a potato, but that's okay. Okay, so let's get you guys. We have very little space to work with. I'm going to keep this keep going like a champ. It is draining our stone considerably. We have the dreaded early Gazi riders here. Okay, let's make some men at arms. Probably going to be able to get ranged by his stuff. I do want that gold node. Alright, so let's uh, cut some of these rams for now. They are pretty wood intensive for sure. We'll cut like a portion of that army. We got 12 of them. I don't know if it's going to be enough to kill these with the keep shooting. Might be. It might very well be. Never finished that upgrade either. Little things you miss. And what is our eco again? Just like that, our eco is 100. Pretty crazy. Yeah, he probably has no, um, what's it called? Yeah, so we're just going to blitz those. I think it's fine. I don't think he's got anything. Oh, he does have a couple spears nearby, actually. So let's see if we can loop around and get him and then, you know, do our thing. Did we actually hit it? No, we didn't. Okay, so the horseman play is just not going to work. 
We're gonna need like spring alts probably. All right, let's do that, and then we can get a Delhi Scholar to turbo produce us spring alts, which is gonna be nice. Okay, so I guess we just fight for this island because it's one of the last vestiges of resources we actually have, and um, we just have to find a way to become an island rat or a land rat, I guess would be the term. All right, so that's gonna produce at double the speed. Let's get men-at-arms here. Yes, good. And we can get some elephants. Those upgrades can keep pouring out. Spring alts can also help deal with some of the other threats. Um, oh, hello, okay. So we need to do this. So he's, he's trying to lumberjack some of my wood here, which, you know, we do have a, an army too, but I think another keep is warranted anyways. All right, so let's move the boys up there. Probably cut the rams for now. We're on the defense, so the rams are pretty much useless. All right, let's get you in there. And you guys come back down here. Looks like he stopped trebucheting. Oh, he's go is he going after my, my stables and stuff? All right, I don't mind sending my troops over there. They can, they can fight hard. Cool. So that's been dealt with. Um, spring alds now, we have how many? A couple? Got these big old armies sitting in our bases. Should probably delete the spears, not gonna be too useful. Yeah, you didn't have any, um, you didn't have any, what's it called? Like ground-based army in your base jar, and that definitely made it easier. Okay, spearmen are diving, the Chad plays. All right, so let's uh, creep up and take these down. And then we can start looking to siege him off this island. I don't... I feel like Siberius could attack at any point, so I have to be careful. Alright, elephants. We got Nest the Bees here, looking fun. Let's run him back to the keep. You guys attack. And now you guys can go work here. Okay, so let's delete these walls, see if I can do a little sneaky sneaky in the corner. Yeah, if red becomes a bit of an issue, that's that's a good thing for us. Okay, we got these boats behind us. I don't know if uh, the springs will outrange them. I think they do. So should be able to put some hurt down. Meanwhile, we'll send some rams in to start softening up this keep. Alright, looking good. Resources hanging in there. Let's do that. Outstanding. So the bow chad numbers are slowly, slowly dwindling from our spring old legion. Don't get too close. Those chads will be able to return the favor. All right, men at arms. Ram did pretty good against that keep there. He doesn't really have villagers here. Excellent. Yeah, spring old island defense is good. Hanging in there. All right, what do we got? Do we want to put a keep on the corner peninsula? I don't think so. Delhi's mostly upgraded. We just got to get these last couple horsemen upgrades. All right, great. So we just took those out. So he just lost like 10 bow chads. A lot of wood eco going. Our eco's back up to 104, which I'm very happy with. And uh, let's get some uh, trams popping out. Yeah, should do the trick. Okay, um, let's get you guys to come down here, do this, go work on those, get this cannon to come sit here, delete a handful of you guys. Where does everyone acquire wood at a fair price is what he says? Oh, that's pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. Alright, so the springs are going to come up. Let's get some repairs on them if we can. We're going to sneak up here and try and get the snipes on the trebs. One down, very nice. Villagers have come to repair, let's repair it. And now we get the, we're the ones who treb. All right, fire it up. Keep knocking them down, main base is safe. I guess China is fighting it extra hard for this because if they lose this, then they, um, they lose quite a few resources. What do we got on the coast? Is it more chads? All right, we'll go snipe those real quick. Meanwhile, our trebuchets of doom have almost knocked down his keep, and uh, this could be the moment we push China off the island. All right. This is a tense one, guys. This is a tense one. Only one person's out so far. It's been, uh, been a lot of ups and downs for everybody. OK, 
guy, we got a lot of men at arms, which were produced within the influence of Madrasa. Oh, the Chad Deli Sprinter is going for the kill. Look at that. She need to find his artillery corps. I know it's back here somewhere. Did he just run with his ar artillery? Huh, not sure. Well, anyways, let's uh, start sniping these bills. Bring this bad boy here. Trying to make some horsemen. I think my deli boys are going to win it, although the, the keep there is doing some nasty damage. So let's nail these down. And uh, we can go ahead and make some rams. Sure, why not? We got enough rams. All right, keep lumberjacking away, team. Good job, soldiers. Man, they really dispatched with those palace guard. That was like super one-sided. All right, so China's officially been pushed off the island. I think we can uh, take this gold here, which is nice. Extra 4,000 gold. I'm here for the scraps. We, are, we weren't able to fully commit there. A lot of our army is here, but if I get invaded by blue, I, I want to be ready for it, right? So let's get this bombard cannon to go do a little bit of sniping. Move up. Pull the spring alds over here. Get you guys going after the Great Wall. Get the ram going after the Great Wall, too. He's coming to try and snipe me, but the Delhi track stars will be there in a second. Look at those brave villagers just, like, taking giant, like, shafts to the face. All right. You guys come out, protect these. Got to force them off the old island here. Great Wall Gatehouse is in danger. Oh, that's where he's hiding his artillery. All right, so we can we can sneak up and deal with that. Let's get you. Nice. That's the beast is down. Great Wall Gatehouse is getting punished. Our eco is okay at the moment. Not crazy, but it's it's something. All right, let's get you up. Repair, 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 repair. A nice little horseman play. I like that. It's cool. Nothing that, uh, I mean, we're going to lose our first wave of artillery here for sure, but if we can get the Great Wall Gatehouse down, I'm going to be pretty happy about that. All right, let's stand on top of this. Get the Rams coming. Give them the old Dewhost. I suspect wood is probably not great for my opponent here. All right, let's make some archer ranges so we can defend this island if we need to. This is our southern peninsula. We're not in danger of losing wood yet. So now we've been able to successfully clear that. I'll take you guys down this way. I've never, I didn't know, I've never checked out Beyond All Reason, no. I haven't. Man, he's, he's going hard for this. I don't have any bills to repair, I don't think. I don't think it would even matter. I could charge the coast with these guys. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we can sneak a repair in there in the meantime. Get some uh, torches on the boats or whatever. Okay, I stopped paying attention here, but I, I think we're all right. Cool, so we pushed back the fleet. Lost a couple, but it's all good. Let's get some springs here so we can defend against the uh, naval pressure. Meanwhile, though, the keep is going to get repaired. All right, so China's been forced off the island, which is great. So now we can, we can call that a dub. And um, let's go ahead and get towers all over the island. Meanwhile, up top, our, uh, our beloved keep is, is going down here. Not much we can do about that against those boats yet, but when we get the springs here, we can. Yeah, and we have water presence again. It's not like we're completely devoid of water. Okay, so let's do this and this. Can be our navy. Could try, do try doing some middle trade, but... First, I want to get China off this island, and then um, and then we can re-secure it using a bunch of towers and whatnot. What is the... <laughs> the weave of Goblin of Rome fan? I actually don't know. I do not know. Is Whisper giving the careless whisper to the coastline? It sounds like it. Man, only one person down so far. This is crazy. Only one person down. All right, so China's landmarks are paying the troll toll. Let's uh, get these bills if we can. So let's go give them the old prison shank. You build this tower up. Just get a random arrow emplacement here to deal with villagers landing. And we still have that stone from earlier, man. Yeah, might as well grab it. Blue is the better version of the Trade Federation. Yeah, I know he is. Yeah. Bow and bow action. It looks like the bow chads are fighting. There are two Chinas here. There are two Chinas. So uh, there is going to be two big naval superpowers in tandem with the French. Red is clearly just cackling all over the middle, I would suspect. I want to get those sacred sites back. 
So probably we'll delete all this military down here. We have production here in case things get crazy again. So let's grab our land-based army and do this. Uh, build a couple of bombards. Build some hand cannoneers, some elephants, some spears and whatnot, and then they can come down here. And we can make some uh, trade ships, or transport ships, and try and re-secure the middle. Because we have the bottom, which is good. We got a fair amount of resources here to be taken. Okay, let's do this. Let's make a little cannon tower here on the land. All's going according to plan. I would like to re-secure the middle, though, if I could. That would be prime time. Just realized I forgot to pick up my relic on my island. Yeah, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, all right. So where are the boats at? Here they come. 26 villagers. Um, yeah, we can take them to the mainland. Sure, why not? Or at least take a portion of them. Some of those guys. All right. Let's get you guys to load up here. Cool. Let's see if we can do a little something something. Not really playing Navy too hard. Uh, is there any wood left on the island? Yeah, there's a little bit left, and a gold node, which definitely makes it worth it. All right, team, keep going. Killaboom says, "Where's all your gold from?" Yeah, I know. At this point, we're we're all kind of we're all kind of starving a little bit here. It's definitely uh, definitely the peasant lands. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the island. I'm a little bit concerned if I do. <laughs> Maybe I should send like a forward vanguard to go check that out to make sure there's not like a naval embargo. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll send a fishing boat. And he'll signal back to the homies. He'll be like, hey, man, you probably don't want to go this way. No more trade ships here. Don't need these guys anymore. Going to try and get our foothold back in the middle. Red's probably pretty rock hard on it, I would imagine. But I also would like to, to do that to shut down Blue's trade. Would be a big variable, too. Okay, so more military infrastructure needed on the bottom side. Looking fine. Uh, he's trading 25-25, which I don't want to happen. And outstanding. All right. So doesn't look like the towers here are upgraded. Let's move in. We got to get off the coast, though, before shit gets too crazy. Okay, is there any space here? Can we drop a keep? There we go. All right. So the keep is on its way down. Uh, we holy shit! Oh my god! What is orange? Oh my god! Look at that shit! What is this circus? All right. Oh man, that's really unfortunate, huh? Holy shit! Orange? Orange just has a hate boner for me. It looks like. <laughs> Let's see if we can get these villagers away. Cause that, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty brutal. Holy shit! Okay, well that's a big navy if I've ever seen one. We have like no gold whatsoever. Alright, so let's just get you over to the coast, do this. Hope you shut down that trade, Orange. Holy shit! He arrived like literally right when I arrived. That was like the worst timing we could have possibly had. Alright, let's get you up here. Yeah, he's trying to shut down the trade. Uh, we managed to get a TC up, which is cute. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough for our... Well, maybe we do. We could sell some of this. Sell some wood, sell some food. Yeah, we don't have enough to buy. So that's just going to be a Trixie Hobbitses. Um, spring Alds again. Yeah, we're going to need those probably. Cool. You guys get on the gold node here. China, not sure if they're trying to rebuild here. Plenty of arrow emplacements. And uh, wow, that's a, that's a big navy. Hopefully, hopefully he takes down his other Chinese rival. You know, that's that's what we need. We need him to go after the Chinese player. Bro, you are the lord of boats. He's saying his opponent is too boat heavy. And then, um... He must have lost that fight somehow? Yeah, it looks like he's running back. Blue is definitely the tyrant, for sure. We have to put some politics out there in the game. We have to we have to try. Okay, looking good. Um, do we want to make anything else on the mainland here? 
Let's make some more transport ships. I was an island rat for an hour, he says. Yeah, yeah, I can relate to that. Definitely can relate to that. All right, so troops, come down, come down. Let's see if we can make it there and get lucky. All right, transport ships are here. Should be enough to transport our new uh, partial fleet over. Top is looking good. We've almost gotten all the resources. And now we do have a foothold in the middle. I can't believe we actually were able to survive that. Yeah, I need to make a force that's capable of dealing with that market. 100%. Um, gold here. Yes, please. Stable upgrades. Never got finished, which is unfortunate. Someone's booming us. Oh, it's a cannon tower. Okay. So let's go here and make a couple of these. And then we can produce an army on this island, hopefully. Blue's around with a bit. See, he's taking me down. Yeah, Blue knows who his biggest threats are, so he's going after him. Yeah, it's hard to unite, for sure. Alright, send our two naval ships up there to go as a distraction for our ground force. I would like to re-secure the middle. Get access to the sacred sites would be pretty sweet, right? Uh-huh. And, uh -huh. I need to go do a little bit more scouting here, see what's going on. Alright, boys. Come on, land in the middle. Oh, Blue's just, like, patrolling, basically. He's very strong. Let's make a little navy of our own. Fortunately, our, uh, our building did not finish. Okay, so Blue's coming with a huge Doom Legion, but we don't care because we're playing the land now. And uh, let's go do some scouting with these. I'm kind of curious what this all looks like down here. You say that every time I attack you. <laughs> you say that every time I attack him yet? It's kind of true. Like, I, I just, like, one of my guys draws his sword. He's like, he's taking the sacred. <laughs> I love it. He's taking the children. <laughs> or that Will Ferrell skit. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's keep moving up. Push him back. I would like to get access to a sacred site for sure, if possible. Not going to be the easiest thing in the world to hold. And it looks like we're going to get our beloved little island back. Our chihuahua is barking. I know Jordan appears. Where was he all game? Chihuahuas and they're barking. You gotta love it. Okay, so we see China over here. China... Oh, wow. China's absolutely got annihilated. Um, he's HRE, so he can't, like, get free stone. It's okay, Lola. It's probably just misses. Okay. Let's keep knocking all this shit off the island. We need this to be our little paradise now. Take me down to the paradise city where the sacred sites are there. Your brain is too... Uh, yeah, it's, this game's really fun to watch. Age of Empires is honestly a really good spectator game. It's really fun to play too. We're going to go to the, the Sacred Sight land. Um, yes, finish that off. Does he have Springholds up there or some shit? No, it's just a keep. Oh. Alright, so yeah, we've seen that. Orange is trying to rebuild here. We have a little fleet, so we could hold back a Dread Fleet for some time. Yeah, southern border. Yeah, it's, it's alright. We're hanging in there. Got this market here if we wanted to do any trading of any sort. Alright, let's pull you guys back. And, uh, yeah, we can always produce here if we need to. Securing this middle site's gonna be incredibly hard. Alright, let's protect you, protect you. See if we can get green off the island. My main purpose of taking the island is to shut down Blue's trade. So I can just go park there and start nuking his trade ships. That's like the entire reason I came here. Okay, let's do that. Make some more production here if need be. Took down the last of those knights, and we have the sacred site again. I would imagine, oh no, I don't want to take the other sacred site, jeez. 
can't believe only one person's dead. It's, it's just nuts. Okay, let's uh, nuke these guys. Oh, that was a good trade for us. All right, that was a that was a great little trade for us, actually. Let's go nuke these down. And uh, looks like he's here. We're gonna start farming his trade ships, killing those to try and shut down what little eco he might have from trade. Run away from the coastline. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today, buddy. All right. So yeah, three keeps in the main base. Not bad. We're just gonna park our bombards here. And we can put like a keep inland a little bit. So it still can kind of protect the sacred while also being range, out of range of the coastal play. Okay, so Blue's Dread Trade is shut down for now. We have control over the middle. Oh, hello. A little bit close to the shoreline there. It's all good. Let's pull back. Get a couple more Spring Alds. And now we just hang out here. How are we looking here? Yep, keep knocking these boats down. No free real estate for you. The Delhi will inherit the earth. The Haggard Delhi will rise. I think there's how much gold is it? Is that even worth it? Yeah, 400 gold. Yeah, why not? We'll take it. We do have the, the relics. Um, Red is coming with the Dread Legion. So he's got a pretty angry little force here. So let's build that up. Holy shit, that is a big army actually. Yeah, so he's coming for it. Um, we don't have the tools to stop him here, probably. Because we just don't have enough supply here. And we do have this navy, too, which is a bit of an issue. So let the arrow ships and the demo ships collide. Perfect. Great business for us. Traded. He had a much bigger fleet, but uh, came out okay in the end. And we do have more back here. Yeah, I can't, I can't have like a navy fighting him and deal with this too at the same time. It's probably a little bit too much. But we'll try and hold off the blue navy for now. Get a second wave. Um, there's, yeah, I don't know how we hold this. It's going to be incredibly hard. Go, spearmen. Go, my spearmen. Red, I'm not actually going to go for sacred site. That's for damn sure. That's just like asking to die, basically. So his navy's pretty colossal. Blue is huge, lads. Can't fight you and red at the same time. You and red. Siberia says I'm dead. Um, we got demo ships. Let's move them in here. Let's move them in here. Nice and nice. Two direct demo ship hits. Our food is going to be offline again, unfortunately. That's gonna it's gonna set us back into the dark ages. Let's hide all of our fishing ships in the absolute corner if we can. Red is riding around being an evil, evil tyrant. Thankfully, I still have uh, my villager production here. One cannon tower. I put a dent in his navy, but like it's such a such a money sink doing that. You know, it's such a money sink. Let's make this. Where do we have our 29 vills? Um, let's lumberjack this real quick. Uh, I did some damage and killed a lot of blue trade before red stopped me. Little do they know I was working for their benefit. But alas, the, the treason. I don't blame red. Red wants to go French wonder on the island, right? So that's that makes, that makes complete sense. All right, so we'll make our, our stand here. Take down that. Got a lot of demo ships. Let's fan out just to waste as many as we possibly can. Perfect. Yeah, so eh, it's just maximizing the amount of demo ships he has to use. Uh, on the top side, is there anything we want to do? I need the uh, I need I need Rohan to ride to my aid. You gonna call out the teaming that? What what teaming? Yeah, no, no, there's no teaming. I mean, I'm I'm on the middle. Middle's a threat. I think that's totally reasonable. All right, let's make some dudes here, some spring alds. And uh, you guys can, are we gonna have to set up farms on our main island? I don't feel so bad. I'm not on mid. 
He, I, I, I don't know if they're aware I'm not on mid, but I am not. Okay, so let's grab this. Um, we're just going to wait for him to leave, and then we're going to re-secure the south again with boats, and then we should be fine. We'll make a couple spring alds too that'll be able to, um, to shoot him. All right, so springs. Elefante is back here chilling out. We did kill a lot of blue trade. We have this island, which really doesn't do much for us anymore. It was it was cool while it lasted for sure, but um, yeah, red is pretty rich too. Honestly, he's probably naval trading, I would guess. Let's see if there's any funny business here. We we just want to get our fishing eco back online, basically. Okay, so we have a, a bit of a haggard army back. It's, it's something. It's it's not a, it's not a beauty. That's for damn sure. Okay, he's sailing back up to take those docks down. So the bait has been taken, which is good. And now, uh, are we going to have to do what I think we're going to have to do on this island? I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of poking and harrying here. We have our springs. Let's go see if we can pop some ships. Spring alds uh, in enough numbers can deal with naval, naval ships pretty effectively because they can outrange them, so... You can sit. That's why the Ottoman Great Bombards are so good, because they can outrange them and just like literally one-shot them. It's brutal. All right. So let's get some fishing boats. Just got to keep draining them as much as we can. We, we don't want to lose to them and let them have our three relics. <clears throat> but red really just crippled our eco. It was pretty brutal. Um, cross land trade here doesn't feel worth it. All right, let's do that and that. Let's just keep doing what we did that other game and just farming his um, his boats with our artillery. Is he actually coming down there again? Okay. There we are. There's one ship. To keep. Do we have any way of repairing it? I don't believe so. There's no villagers nearby, so it's going to pay the price. Um, really? Do we? Where are all our villas? Go? Oh, they're up here. I think it's going to burn down. Okay, let's lure these guys a little bit closer here. Pull the spring alts down to the south side. Off with these ships, please. Yeah, at least we still have our, our secondary island. Yeah, I need water trade. Dude, I, I mean, I need a lot of things right now, dude. Pretty obvious statement. <laughs> Starving and pinned in. You need, you need money, dude. All right. So where are we at? Um, nothing here, really. I mean, just the scraps. We could do some really janky trade here. But we're going to start running out of wood. Like, we basically... Oh, we did save that keep, though, which is nice. All right. Nail down the boat. Do a little bit of scooting and shooting with the springs. He's got to be dealing with other drama right now, I, I suspect. So we're going to try and get a little bit of cheeky trading here. Even if it's really terrible, we're going to try for it. We'll make a little, uh, we can make a carrot of our own, actually. Let's see if we can, like, lure him on here. Wow, enemy capturing sacred type, but yellow's there, too. Yeah, see, yellow's, yellow's still around, very much. He's doing it. Good, good. Take the, take the threat assessment off me. I need it. All right. So, come on, warship. Where are you going to pop out in a second? Give it to me. There we go, all right. And then that should be able to go deal with that guy. Spring alts, let's go up to the northern shore, see if we can do a little bit of farming. Actually, we need to save that. Enemy approaching sacred victory, wow. This is actually good. This is good. This is gonna give me time to rebuild. Red has a massive army mid. I love to see it. Good Good for you, Red. You, you've, you've earned it, buddy. You've been, you've been playing great. All right, so let's get some trade ships going. Yes, perfect. We're gonna get all you bad boys all set up. Let's get some more food going because we're going to need it. And then um, you guys can build a couple docks on the outside here to build transport ships. And let's go see if we can do anything about this. Turn able to play three. Yeah, we're playing a bunch of games, dude. Playing a bunch. All right. So any stone left here? There's uh, 300 stones. Kind of cute. Let's get you guys to do that. But what I need to get is a trade, which is not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of, lot of people who don't want me trading. All right, um, do we delete these vills right now just for a bigger army? Probably not a bad idea. We can always reproduce them here on this island. Blue's still trolling me, though. That's pretty annoying. 
All right, so let's just make some warships. Go push that back, and then we'll we'll send the trade ships to once we're able to clean up some space. I could do some memory. I could like land north like super hard. We're gonna take some rams with us, and um, somebody already decapped red. Okay, so that's that's no sweat then. That ain't no sweat. Let's repair you, and we got you guys in group seven. Just make whatever the hell we can. And the sacred sites have been decapped, so yeah, that was that was an interesting attempt at it. You guys ready to go get my navy swept again? It's time, baby. It's it's the annual. Let's go get my navy crushed. Um, am I gonna play Manor Lords? Yeah, absolutely. Looks fun. Looks fun for sure. I'll I'll happily play that. Okay, so I know blue is still there. I'd like to keep these trade ships alive, if possible. That was quick. I know it was kind of kind of anticlimactic, wasn't it? Make some of these, and um, make some more rams. Really, really gonna be in danger soon. I need to start rationing my wood. <laughs> Let's go clean out any patrolling ships here, if possible, and uh, get you guys to go to the middle. Red death prepping wonder. That's great. If That's when I can slip in and get back in the game. When somebody goes for a wonder and takes blue's focus off me and red's focus off me, then I can try and re-secure and, you know, do other things. I don't know where, he's, where he thinks he's going. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's go. Get the rat trade. We have the ultimate Skaven trade right now. Holy shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It was a joke. It was a prank. It was just a prank. Okay, is he actually landing on my shit? Oh, wow. Okay. My soldiers have, are, have been, are like, I've been waiting 10,000 years for something to fight on the mainland. I don't know what he's going to get done here. I mean, he's going to kill a bit, I suppose, but we're, we're ready. The Rams, the defensive Rams stand at the ready. All right, so let's go up to his base now and just do a little bit of a counter raid with our Navy. Kill some of his boats, and we just fight here. No problem. Easy peasy. Yeah, he's, he's definitely doing some naval harrying, but we have a lot of keeps, and, I mean, he can just run back to the coast if he wants. He's like, screw this shit, I'm going home. The big successful raids. Hmm. You know what would probably be smarter? Would be to um, set up a dock down here and, and trade the other way so it's not like so close to his stuff. Okay, so Blue's glorious invasion has failed, obviously, because he doesn't have enough of a land army to uh, take us down. So we're just going to go raid his shit a little bit. Um, he's killing a random mill over there. Alright, so let's just raid his navy a little bit. He's fishing. Let's run him off. Cool. Just run all the way up here. Uh, do we have any villagers left on this island? I think there's a couple left. Maybe. Maybe no. Maybe not. All right, let's make a couple of these guys. Keep hustling up this way. It's got to be annoying for him, but he's he's very very far ahead. I mean, geez. Can we get a dock down here for any reason? Curses. We're, okay, we're going to have to clear some space. He's got this big. I wonder if he can go all the way around the back of his island. I don't think so. Alright, so he's obviously got bigger fish to fry. Let's make our... Oh, we can make the Dao Legions. We're just going to make Delhi like raiding forces. And just go full jank here, guys. It's time. Alright, so our eco is currently not the greatest. Let's do this. See if we can just keep finding fishing. Yes, my minions, yes. Get them, my pretties, get them. Yes, yes. Unleash the Delhi potato fleet. Okay, so these guys are here. We need a ram to clear down these walls. That's my gold army. Okay, someone's suffering here a little bit. Make some transport ships. Where do I have 32 eco? Oh, all these fishing boats jumped in here earlier. Okay, yeah, they should have been back out. What else? Where else did I have my boats? Those guys have probably been in there like the whole game and I just didn't notice. I'm running out of wood, yes. Yes, quite the astute observation. <laughs> 
I am suffering. And we have two islands, but it ain't enough, that's for sure. SRAM needs to pop out here. Fishing boat, sure, why not? And then you guys come down here. Is there anything else we could do? Lumber time. He, he's, he's getting sneaky sneaky. All right, Scholar Spring Alts up here. Soon we're not going to be able to do too much on the water. I could build a coastal keep, but he's probably just going to steamroll it, I would wager. It's time for the Jelly Jank fleet to charge gloriously into the night. This is my raiding force. The full power of the great Jelly Navy. Oh shit, oh shit. Bad micro, bad micro. Bad micro! Alright, let's uh, blast him. Okay, Red's going sacred again. I like it. I like when Red's, when Red's doing this stuff, you know? We need bombards. Spring's gonna be enough to do it. Yeah, they're so much cheaper. Alright, so we got our raiding fleet once again. It is time for Gotham's Reckoning. Um, probably not much wood left on the middle island. Yeah, Hisar, Hisar could be better on this one, but I feel like getting the free elephants late game is really nice. It's, it's like not as good as the Ottoman one, obviously. But um, I can see it being respectable. Alright, so you guys can just make some more production on the island. Gonna need help mid. This is good. This is where we let we let Blue do go deal with that. And we try and claim a foothold somewhere, maybe get some trade going again. Alright, so let's knock down these walls. And that's gonna allow us to build our secret agent dock with which maybe Orange will let us trade. <laughs> you see what he said? This is how you get back in games though, dude. This is this is how you do it. So now we're just gonna run up there. Uh, like I feel like they're not gonna have a problem decapping red. Yeah, sure. It's like demo ships. He's losing gold when he when he kills the arrow ship with the demo ship. So, all right. You thought you thought this was just the beginning, did you? There will be more. Although maybe not more, because oh no, I gotta save that wood. Jeez, that wood's getting very sparse. All right, so we can try and make some transport ships, but I don't know how the hell that's going to go. Yeah, nine spring olds. Yeah, makes sense. Blue's going to have to do his thing and stop that. Um, I just need to establish myself here because I have no chance of winning. So my focal point here is going to be trying to um, establish trade and maybe I can get back in the game that way. All right, perfect. Okay, we have the villagers here to build the dock. We need that sweet trade. Red sitting there. Um, I would like to get some transport ships and maybe help a little bit. But I feel like blue is going to kill my transport ships. Okay, looks like he's there. Here's red. He's doing his thing. <laughs> Yes, my minions. Yes, my Jow fleet. I am reading chat. Yes. Okay, let's loot you guys. And uh, these ships need to do their thing here. We got a villager coming down. My Jows are cackling back here. Let's see if the naval overlord wants to do anything about the... Uh... The problem is if he doesn't let me land, I'm not sure if he is. He might, he might be angry about me. Okay, we're going to try and get a couple ships here. And uh, do we have a villager for a dock down here? We should. Let's get that dock going, see if we can get the trade slipping in there. Not going to be easy, but we're going to try. I don't want to load up my whole army and then like have his fleet just come over and steamroll it. That's what I'm like concerned about here. Okay, here comes a big landing force here, no problem. So I'm gonna land on the other side now. I'm just the reason why I've been delayed is because I don't know if Blue's gonna kill, like, let me do it. Probably not. Okay, so the dock's coming, and then we can start trading there a little bit. Okay, let's do that. And then we can just start trading here. It's pretty much our only chance at getting eco again. Alright, so I need to get you guys loaded up. Let's do that. And cool. So we'll take this and we'll go try and decap that sacred site. I'm going to leave a little bit in case of a backstab attempt. 
Um, red is battling fiercely over there, so this side is very open. The only thing that could go wrong would be blue trolling me here. So we're going to send those guys around as a bit of a distraction. Okay. Looking, looking. Hopefully I can land here. Trade's going strong. Hopefully I'm able to get it off and get back in this game. I do have the Tithe Barns action going, which is good. Looks like green's going to win that fight, so I should be able to salvage this. Great. All right. So we're getting trade now, which is outstanding. All right, up you go to the sacred site. Back you go here. Let's go ahead here. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're going to do this to make it a little bit harder. We can't quite connect it. Does blue, does he want to lose the game? Shit, he's trying to knock me off this objective. Kind of want to let red keep it. Just to take the pressure off me a little bit, but yeah, it needs to happen. All right, so that's good. So we did that. Crisis is uh, averted for now. And we are now in the middle island, but with no villagers to really do much. I would like to get some sacreds if possible. Um, our trade ships need to just hide down here for now. Let's go see if he can just, yeah, I hate to trade with red here. It sucks, but. Blue tried to knock me off the sacred site. I, I could I could use that time to land on, on blue for sure. Okay, looking good. And um, now we need to find a way to get some bills to that sacred site. Or to the island, excuse me. Alright, so we've cleaned that out. Um, a little bit of coastal raiding. His navy is so big. I mean, man, is nobody contesting it? Hmm. I'm playing Delhi right now. No, it's not a, not a new Civ. No, it's old school Delhi. Yeah, Delhi's great, man. They're so fun. Uh, do we have a Wonder coming up? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how this goes. All right. So what we need to do is get those Vills here and get you guys to load up. I love it. I gotta love it. Okay, let's load you guys up. Do this. We got an, a standing army here. He's going to find our trade ships, likely, so we'll just hide them in the corner. Oh, we can actually go all the way to the corner here. Okay. Save him for later. All right. So load up, boys. Four is going to be about as much time as we have here. And uh, cool. All right, let's land here. Take you guys over this way. We actually have a lot of our buildings from earlier, which is pretty funny. So Tron going for the French Wonder, which is no surprise whatsoever. And, um, yeah, we are very poor. Can't do a whole lot. We do have the Fishing Legion, which is about it. Oh, Blue, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. So Blue just trolled pretty good. Because now, basically, um, we can't threaten the Sacred, really. And, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be tough. We'll try and load up another one here, see what we can do. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any villagers with the first wave, so it's going to be... Um, we're going to try and sneak up here and see if we can get on him. I wanted to threaten a sacred counterplay. Well, Blue's... He's still kind of camping my stuff. Yeah, he's not really going after other people. Not even trying to fight him, really. Uh, Alright, so let's do this. So Siberius... Enemy destroyed Siberius' landmark? Oh my god, there's some janky ass trade going on down here, guys. Orange, you good? I know. Who knows? So, I'm going to threaten the sacred option. See if that's a, a, a potential play here. I do have an army on the island, although I don't think I'm going to be able to produce the scholars fast enough, like build the building. I wonder if red and blue have been fighting. I do. Probably. I would imagine so. They're neighbors. All right, let's pop that out. Um, it's going to be a little bit tight. Let's pull you back to the base. Load up all these guys. Do this. Now we have the Haggard trade going again. Yep, build the dock. Get the trade going. 
He's still there. He's probably just protecting his trade there. So that makes sense. All right, let's pop you out. Do this. And then let's build another one here. Try and power build him. And cool. And then we can, um, we can do a little something something here. All right, so down and down and down. Come on, Scholar. Oh, Blue still got troops over here. Shit. No. Okay, some of them are going to make the run the blockade. They're going to make it. Okay. So let's take these guys out, these troopers. Got to be incredibly hard to hold these. Um, let's set up some towers here and just make cannon emplacements. Uh, blue, we can force cancel. So blue's still trying to troll here. I don't know why he would help red. Because red would have to cancel. If not for that. Thankfully we can produce scholars pretty quickly. Let's get you guys there. And the other ship looks like it didn't quite make it, unfortunately. Okay, let's get you guys up here. Set up a keep there. You grab this. All right. Outstanding. And let's get you guys in the tree line here. And uh, we can do a little bit of this too. Oof. All right, boys. So we're trying our best here. It's a little bit janky. Looks like our boat did arrive with reinforcements, which is great. Um, and from here, we use the last of our wood to delete these guys, free up some supply, and uh, just start making some uh, some archer ranges. Yeah, with the last of our wood, so we can just make some like elephants and stuff. Yeah, all right, boys. So we got the sacred. I don't know if we're going to be allowed to keep it though. Is the problem? Let's pull back here and do this. These boys gonna run up north. We got the rams. Rams can obviously sit on those and maintain them if we want. Is, is he just not, is he teaming with red? I mean, no, I, why would he do that? It doesn't make sense. He's just trying to stop sacred, it looks like. Okay, let's make some elephants. Elefantes. You can decap Turin. Not sure why. We have the force delete here. Unless he refuses to delete, and then it makes sense to kill me, obviously. Okay, let's get this cannon emplacement going. Keep you troopers here. We have the one on the top side with the rams, all ready to go. Alright, so we're gonna get the two keeps there, try our best to hold it. Alright boys, seal that up. And uh, let's see if we can seal this one too. Elefantes, it's time. It is time. Uh, delete new decap, not setting it up. Okay, are they, let's see. This could be a good way to rat out a victory. It'd be really funny, actually. If we manage to get it this way. Okay, hand cannoneers. Sure, why not? Just make whatever the hell we can. We just need to get a 200 supply army here on this island. Okay, let's go clear off Red's troop. Definitely puts the wonder player in a weird spot. We need to make sure nobody's setting up on the island, like elsewhere. Um, trade is not going to happen, I don't think. Yeah, he's been perpetually trolling my trade. Okay, let's go get Red off the island here. I believe he still has some cannon emplacements and whatnot. We have a little bit of time to react here. And uh, let's just move it and group it. Yeah, only one player's died so far. It's been pretty bananas. Okay. Is there any wood left? A little bit on the coast, which is cute. Um, this sacred site would be too hard to... I mean, we could set up walls like right along the side of it, which could make it a little bit kind of harder to get in on. All right. So I think we just go chill out in the middle. We leave the elephants here. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice we had all these guys. Wow. Okay, that's really haggard, but... Um, yeah, let's load up here. Let's get in. Just sh shuffle them over to the mainland here. Okay, we see yellow here. 
Keeps might be able to do it. Elephants can definitely put some pressure down on them, but... Uh, yellow is going for it pretty hard in the paint. Our elephants are being eviscerated. All right, so let's go down here and then here. Yeah, there's no way, but he's going to have to land troops here. Yellow, don't you want to force the lead? Let's see. Maybe he's just softening it up for later. I, I definitely can't fight that army. Jesus. It's a huge-ass fleet. I mean, we maybe sunk a couple ships in our efforts, um, but not enough. Yep, clearing you off. Okay, fair play, fair play. I, I'll be lurking nearby. We can send in the Dread Rams when the time comes. Damn, I was hoping those keeps would stay. Um, Red still hasn't deleted yet. And now here comes Blue. Alright, let's load you guys, and then we need to get you guys here, do this. And Blue's coming with the big Chungus fleet here. It's only a handful of ships, but... I think he's sailing this way, so we can go here and here. And uh, you guys load up. And here comes uh, here comes the big boy fleet. Our Stonewall Tower there is pretty funny. Alright, let's lead this. Do that, come over here. So he's clearing it off. Respectable archers, please. Uh, we need to make a gatehouse here so my troops can come through and help when the crunch time is on. Yeah, cannon towers, and um, yeah, would like to force those guys back. I'm pretty much all in on this, though. I feel like I should just do everything I can to... Okay, so landing, and this elephant has made it too. Great, so I got most of the troops off the mainland. It's pretty much my last my last gasp here. So we're going to like station a couple units on both sides. What's about mid, he says? Okay, let's get our spring alds. He's asking uh, if I'm entrenched, which clearly I'm not. But they're trying to get the delete. Because I guess they didn't feel confident diving that French base. None of them want to delete their navies. I've noticed that Blue like refuses to delete his navy. But now I'm just going to get springs and try and poke if I can. Holy shit. Oh my god, those chads. Chinese chads are just insane. How good they are. Yes. Yes, my minions. Yes. Be gone. Do I have any siege workshops here? Not really. There's a little bit of wood, actually. Alright, so what's going on down here? We're being patrolled by Orange. Um... Get you guys up in the walls. Man, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very weak in every regard. I'm, I'm basically the potato of this game. We're just trying to get Red to delete his wonder. Which is pretty standard standard stuff. All right, let's get a siege workshop here. Am I excellently making stuff on the mainland? I mean, we do have several keeps on our island. It wouldn't be the easiest to landmark snipe us, but yeah, it would not be too hard, I guess. Okay, let's sneak up and do a little bit of this. I'm gonna do this and this and this. Wow, look at that. They, he's refusing to delete. I've been noticing a lot of players do that lately. Terran's gonna win. Yeah, they're they're gonna the haggard the haggard plays will get the dub for us. I'll take it. I mean, you know, it's kind of like whoever gets there first to. Uh, Secure the uh, sacred. Red might make a play for it. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh shit, that's that is. Um, those are all mainland. I can't land too broke. He says blue. Die. Yeah, right, dude. You're definitely not too broke, homie. He's saying he's too broke. I can decap if Red deletes. He says. Yeah. See, there you go. There you go. Let's sell some food. How many uh, wins have you gotten like this? Oh, a handful. Yeah, it's 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 part of it, you know. It's like a political. It's like winning governor victory in Dune, you know. The lands rat has recognized me. I'm doing this so I can get up on the walls, and um, when they attack, I can I can really be pretty disruptive. That will be nice. And then let's get some elephants and hand cannoneers and archers. I have no navy. Um, orange is creeping around here, so we're just going to sit back. Okay, let's do that. Buy a little bit of gold. 
Get another cannon emplacement here. Blue is threatening, for sure. Red could land. But we have we have a nice archer position here. Blue out of the way. <laughs> Enemy destroyed Tron's landmark. Okay, somebody's actually trying to kill Tron here. See, look, everybody's being too greedy, dude. Every Nobody wants to delete their navies. Everyone's being such a troll. They're just like, oh, I love it. And it, it's the reason why I'm going to get the win is because nobody's willing to delete those big expensive navies and play land. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. He's just clearing me off, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll pull back. It's fine if he wants to, if he wants to party. Okay. Look at the range on those damn boats, dude. That's insane. All right, so we got a little bit of wood harvesting going. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, okay, so he's gonna give red the win. Fair play, you know, which, uh, whichever king he wants to make. To each their own. We'll try and clear him off here. It ain't gonna be easy though, that's for damn sure. These stupid chads. Okay, so we need to snipe these down if we can. All right, so let's pull you guys over. Yellow, no. You're rewarding wonder. Why? Why? Because now Red's just gonna win. You're rewarding him for being greedy. Oh. He he just he just rewarded him. No, no. Our hopes and dreams out the window. They're out the window, man. Oh, they didn't actually need the minute. Looks like they got it at the end of the day. All right, hey. They did not need that minute. Somebody killed Notre Dame. Hey, that worked out great for everybody. I'd say that's a big team win. Because I feel like I didn't deserve to win that. You know. Dr. Silly Willy got it. And, uh, yeah. All right, so now we just resecure our little island and try and get our eco going again. Get another one of you guys. This is, like, the only money I'm going to get. Um, although taking that one again feels like a really bad idea. I guess now we just try and focus on naval trade. Finish Tron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this game has been such chaos. I definitely didn't deserve to win it. So I kind of felt bad. I was like, I hate getting wins like that, you know. Uh, let's delete these rams. Yeah, I'm slowing our shit down. All right, we're going to go troll the, uh, troll the what's it called. You guys ready for the glory? Okay. My last three villagers are pairing last landmark burning. Oh. So they didn't actually get the wonder. Oh, no, they did get the wonder. We saw that. You guys ready for the big plays? Okay. How long are we going to be able to hold on to the middle is the question. Probably not long. There's still some wood on this island. A couple little patches. Um, Orange is scouting me with his Bowchad Legion. Orange was actually trading with someone. I don't know who it was. I'm just like the absolute rat filth this game. All right, so yeah, we have a little bit of stone here. Is there any way we could get a TC on this island? That'd be nice. Maybe some Tithe Barns action. Make some bills. You can eventually take some somewhere. Orange is, is harrying this island. It's fair play. There's basically nothing I can do about it. I just got to hide my fishing fleet because I can't afford to rebuild them. So if I, if I can keep them in the corner, maybe we're okay. Hey, looks like looks like the Chinese are here now. All right, let's make the the jankiest of towers here. You guys ready? The archers are just gonna stand there and shoot trading ships. It's gonna be great. All right, so he's trying to build stuff on the island. Oh, look at what he landed with. Yeah. Uh, why am I getting demolished? <laughs> why are they demolishing me, dude? Nothing there, green. I mean, I feel like such a beggar. I'm such, like, just unwashed filth right now. If he comes to this corner, I would be genuinely shocked. Nothing there, green. I have no trade or money, orange. Not worth your time, dude. I mean, he can come and destroy these docks again. I don't know why. There's literally, like... Why are you not fighting the powerhouses, you know? Okay, Blue is not happy about this. 
Why are you attacking my shitty docks when blue has 200 mass ships and other strong players feast? I have to try and reason with him. You know, at this point. I have nothing, dude. I am just unwa- I am- I am just filth right now. Okay, so let's buy a little bit of this. We can build a TC here. Don't know what Orange is thinking here. I feel like that's something that, like, threat assessment is maybe not some people's strong point. When I started attacking, you were both, uh, they let me have them for free. <laughs> like, is this the threat? <laughs> All right, let's get these back. And uh, we're here now. Let's pull back here. Do this and this. We only need one dock, actually, just for the shipping drop-offs. And, um, I mean, I guess we try and find a way to get some wood off this island and then trade. <coughs> Dude, I'm such a beggar. Blue is so strong. I don't know why people aren't taking him on. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm too weak. Maybe because they don't want to die. One sec, guys. Let's see what we got here. It's been a, it's been a hard game. It's been a hard game, ladies and gentlemen. The shirt's coming off. It's all business now. All right, so the Delhi fonts are here. We got these villagers, which can come down and uh, load up on a transport ship. To the promised land. Fishing is back online. Oh, hey, there's a lot of wood here. That is actually a lot of wood. Delhi fishing ships have bow and arrow, so you do have a fleet. That's true. I'm kind of an under-the-radar threat. Yeah. Okay, so these trade ships, I don't know where we can even trade. Probably just, like, back dock once they leave. I don't know if they're going to, though. No trade for you. <laughs> All right. So that's coming up. Let's get you in the fishing boat here. Oh, orange. Why? He sees my dread fleet. It, it has instilled fear into his heart. Hey, at least my gold's coming back up, you know? All right. So this is TC is about to finish, which is awesome. Let's get here and uh, start purging what, what's left of the wood. I'd like to get my trade ships back online if possible. All right. And uh, yeah, you guys load up. Yeah, Blue is a tyrant, but dude, nobody else is... Okay, somebody's actually trying to kill a Tron off. Need to go another hour before the record? Yeah, no, the record was like three hours, I think. <laughs> Look at Blue! <laughs> They're just taking turns circle beating me. I feel like I'm the guy in Kung Pao who's just like on the ground just getting kicked <laughs> with the beaten with those sticks. Uh, it, is, it is pretty funny though, for sure. I'm <laughs> gonna go in so hard. All right. Um, yeah, we can free up supply here. Screw the main island. I mean, we have our relics here, which is cute. Um, someone's trying to get keeps here, which I can't really do anything about. Holy shit, really? Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's three of them now. Okay, so much for this trade. Let's get you back here. Can they... Okay, this is the only way I'm going to get these players to fight each other is if I lure them to one another. Yes! I feel like I just lured Godzilla to fight Mecha Godzilla or something. Let them fight. Okay, is there any more wood on this island? Um, not too much. Let's make some elephants, because they're cool. And, uh... I mean, a ram's kind of crappy. A treb would probably be better. Yeah, Blue gotta be stopped. Crazy Navy. He's very rich. He must have, like, like four or five relics with HRE. Um, any trade options here? Okay, so let's get a fishing boat to go do a little bit of scouting. Can do shoreline here. Yeah, I don't see how we hold this island. I mean, maybe I can push him off. I still do have a decent, decent little force here. Um, I hate using wood for these purposes, though. That feels really, really bad. Okay, boys. We're going to attrition down this wood one way or the other. Um, let's do that. Let's take our navy or our military over there to go see if we can clear off some space. If you want to lose the fifth full fleet, China, come on. <laughs> he's he's talking a little smack there. I like it. A little, little, little hate is flowing. The island rat is on his way. Yes, let the island rat feast. No, no one trades on my watch. They have to pay the rat toll. 
Maybe if they give me a relic, I'll let them have trading rights. Okay. This is not how you make friends, Blue. Okay, let's do that trade route there. Bombardo's on the way out, and uh, he's literally towering me here. <laughs> Jordan's towering me. All right, so let's knock that tower down. Passing green. Um, hey, we're getting a little bit of wood eco, which is great, so. Come on, my trade ships. Go, my pretties. Okay, let's move you guys up here. Oh, I hate making these units, but I kind of need them at this point. Okay, so we're going to seal that. Um, trade is going down. Ooh, we're just going to, like, uh, we're just going to kind of take this island, I guess. Is it, is it, oh my god, am I being trebucheted? So green, green is here and yellow. Look at this shit. What is this trebuchet doing down here? <laughs> All right. So how's our trade empire looking? It looks like something's sinking our ships as they go. I'm not sure. I'm just happy to still be alive, honestly. I'm, I'm grateful for my the breath I draw. Um, anything here? We can delete these scholars. Don't really need them for any reason. Okay, let's knock that down. Bombard the other one. Let's get a tribe of our own. Taking notes. Gonna kill this TC here, though. Get this elephant back if we can. It's a regular tower elephant. Okay, finish the TC off, boys. You get back. And um, I guess we are getting a little bit of trading, although it looks like China is... Um, they're a little bit happy fighting one another here. Okay, finish that. Fighting tooth and nail for our... Uh, Jordan is building a wonder. Hell yeah, dude. Where is it? Where is he building a wonder? Hold on. Jordan is... Is green. He was, looks like he was building over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think he started to build it and then he didn't like the positioning or something. I don't know. That was that was really funny though. All right, let's make some scholars for healing here, and uh, we can make a few rams. As much as I hate to spend that, <laughs> we do have the Great Wall Gatehouse here. Yes, the trade is being allowed to happen for once. Hey, yeah, I'm the only one with a player kill right now. That's right, I'm the only one. Um. Setting up a keep here doesn't feel like a bad idea. Because we have three cannon towers here. So I'm kind of like, I, I don't want to just lose this. It's a nice little investment. Okay, and let's head down this way. All right, let's counterweight trap that. And now we got another wonder. All right. So the die is cast. Um, we're definitely going to try and go for the sacred site again. Rinse and repeat the same system. Meanwhile, we get a bunch of trading. The, is Jordan the other French player? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Dude, he's probably got an island with like 50 keeps on it. Oh, I love it. Hey, we have we have uh, we have fought hard and long and hard for these islands. We are the true, the true natural inhabitants of this uh, this middle island here. All right, let's make some archers. Let's get these damn villagers off the island. Okay, let's get you guys and you guys move there. But getting the French off in a couple minutes is going to be a very tall order. Um, yeah. All right. So we got the bills. But how are we going to get him off? Is the problem because we don't really have a lot of infrastructure here at the moment. All right, so that's coming. Um, the French are coming down here. So let's cancel these buildings. There's like Red's annoying Palisades here. I don't think Green's going to let me have it. I think, he's, I think he's pretty crunk here. He wants it. Unless he's trying to leave right now, which I can't tell. Oh, maybe he's loading up in his transport ships? Okay, we're going to go try and take advantage of the chaos right now and... Take this down. All right. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. So come on, give me the key. Give me the sacred. You guys know you want it. 
And uh, that would be pretty funny if we could find a way to get that again. Okay, let's build some more infrastructure here. We're kind of close to it. We're cutting it a little bit tight. Looks like he's coming, but I'm just trying to get his infrastructure off the island. It looks like he's not going to have it, though. Hmm. This might actually be hard to get this sacred. Oh, never mind. Green is the, is the wonder guy. Okay, so that makes sense why you would be trying desperately to hold this. This is good, though. I'll do my part fighting him here. Holy shit, he's got a lot of nastiness, though. Let's get bombards. Uh-huh. Outstanding. Now let's see if we can even win this fight, dude. He's got a pretty good little army here, although I do have some hand cannoneers. Yeah, his, his guns are ranging me. Yeah, he's camping the sacred, which is a very good play. Regardless, um, I'll land on his shores after this. That's kind of the game plan. Hopefully the other players are going to actually do something now. I suspect that they will maybe start to delete their navies. Alright, so let's get the Bombard Cannon coming over there. And let's get you. Seven. Hey, we're sinking ships. Slowly but surely. We might actually be able to force them off here. Depends if these guys let me be. You know, we're kind of rolling the dice here a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa. Shoot the ships. Shoot the ships. Okay, perfect. And it looks like we actually got them off. Wow. To be honest, I didn't think that was going to work, but it did. So, uh, great. That's awesome. And we're decapping. We have a scholar here. And let's cap that. Okay, outstanding. Did we accidentally make things in our mainland? Seven and five. Cool. Uh, Orange is not going to let me trade. Okay. Orange is just causing chaos. So that, that shut. We had a gravy train for a minute, but Orange just shut it down. All right, so let's get you. Set this up here. And it looks like we did manage to get it in time, which is cool. Not going to stop it. Granted, I'm not trading. All right. Delete this. Just got killed by orange. Okay. Let's do a little bit of that. Set up the walls of doom. Not sure why attack me, orange, when wonder is there. Just out of curiosity, you know, I'm curious what his what his scheme was. All right, so we take that. Um, we have trebs, which aren't going to be terribly useful. Let's make some bombardos. All right, I'm building up a fleet, but I want my landmark back. All right, well, you know, it's not going to be so easy. <laughs> there are a couple of random emplacements there. Okay, so maybe we got to make some trade on this side now. Yeah, that's probably the game plan. But I do have the Sacred Timer on him. The jank plays. The Haggard Deli. They didn't hear no bell, dude. Oh my god, and Tron didn't die? They didn't kill old Tron? I thought they had killed Tron earlier, but I guess not. <laughs> oh no, dude. Alright, so let's pull you guys up here. I think... Nobody's going to go for the backside one. Um, let's get you to make a dock here. Whatever. You know, it's better than nothing. Now oh, my shit's dying. Okay. One, two, three. Do that. And uh, most of our army is going to be up here. I'm probably looking okay. Let's cancel this. Part two, the return of Tron, I know. It's getting real bananas here tonight. Worst case though, I do I do have a better defense force this time around, so. Um, maybe I'll be able to do something. All right, so let's try this. We have you, good, and then we can do that. It's pretty haggard trade, but it is what it is. I'm gonna build like four places so I can pump out trade ships. It's 23 a pop, which like I said, is better than nothing. 
Don't really feel the point of building towers here. Nor do I feel like building rams is a good idea. We can see attacks coming on this side from further away. Let's repair these walls. Uh, how many trade ships do I have? Three? Alright. Cool. <laughs> so says Killaboom. I mean... He, he's got mass culves in there. Look at wonder. All right. Let's get one emplacement there. Um, you guys come over here, set up some emplacements. And then Lumberjack there. We'll leave a couple dudes down there, I guess. And the trade ships of the gods. I'm not going to complain to Blue, but he needs to Blue, move your ships off post. Need someone to clear the coast? Oh god, are they are they coming for me? Oh, okay. Let's see if Blue actually follows through here. It's not. Huge. He's he's just keeps popping my ships. Okay, I gotta move over there real quick and deal with that. So we're gonna go bombard those because I need the trade. Hopefully, I don't get attacked in this window. Okay, a little bit more stone. Bombards are cruising over there, and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take down those ships. Okay, target that. Delete these extra bills. Who aren't doing anything? And more bombards. All right, so it looks like they're leaving. Finally, let's get those that trade back online. This is working out pretty good for us, though. Well, I mean, we have a decent chance of uh, of winning here. Which, what the hell is this? It's like a teal navy here. You guys seeing this shit? <laughs> no idea, just a random English landing force. Oh, there's 15 archers in that thing. Wow, okay. So, all's calm here on this side so far. We've dealt with the English invaders. Um, let's keep it going here. Make sure all the trade ships are assigned to the furthest post. If you delete Wonder, I promise I will decap turn easily. Oh man, the Wonder deletes, dude. I don't have the resources to do much of anything. Yeah, Pone, Pone knows. His, his, his awareness is quite quite apt. I am, I am the Potato King. Let's just say that. I do have some bombards now, so I can maybe like start to kill some uh, ships when they land. Yeah, the trade fleet's going strong. Thankfully, we were able to allow it. I should say. I'm not. I'm. I'm a humble man. I know. Oh, look at this. I know when it's not my my doing. Okay, we got to keep those English off the island. It looks like they're still trying for the wonder. Okay, China got its landmark back, which is cool. Let's use the Delhi track stars to sprint and take them down. Gotta make sure I don't um, hit my makeshift ally. Okay, let's come here. They can actually just stay down there. Afterwards, um... Jeez, man, barely any wood. Barely any wood whatsoever. I won't delete. Man, people have really, uh... There was a time. I guess they just wanted to end, you know? Maybe they're just tired. Okay. Let's get you guys and you guys. How are we doing on this? We do have the bombards, which obviously will sink ships. Oh, we probably need some mangonels. So let's see if we can afford some of those. The backside's pretty secure. China's just having fun over there. And, um, yep, let's just keep that going. Trade is online. We're kind of alive, actually, which is great. Yes, give me that, precious. Give it to me. Mangoes. I haven't made enough mangoes this game. Like I said, backside's pretty vulnerable, but we would see an attack coming. The landing force... Here he comes. Oh, is he going to land on me here? Okay, let's, let's test his might. 
Red going for the cheeky decap. He said he could do it easy. Let's see if that was true. Oh, shit. Kind of looks like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, and yes. Okay, so those are all down for the count. His army's taking some casualties, but we do have the production queued up here, but our wood supply is very short, so we're not able to do as much as we would like. Okay, let's take down the artillery here. Keep the ram there. Everything's looking okay. We got a lot more troopers that can run over there. And, uh, I think we managed to hold it here. Aha! Old man turns never easy. <laughs> I don't care if you have a better army. Back to the sea, you peasants. It's what you get. Although now somebody else lands, my holding potential is basically just dead, right? I got to quote him now. I was joking with the easy party. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he jokes after after it doesn't go well. All right. Hey, at least we got like a ceremonial hold. I'm just going to make bills now. No, be gone. Why? Get out of here with that shit. No. <laughs> I understand why now, but yeah. <laughs> no more. No more will we be tormented. All right. Come on, Bo. Come on, guys. The rat inherits... You know, holding the middle on, on these maps is pretty substantial. It's like, a, it's like a huge thing, for sure. Make that a little bit harder. Let's just sell some food. Holding down the old Z button. Oh my god, the English are here. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's a big English army. I don't know if I can fight that off. Okay, so now they can't get through. Oh, yes they can. Yeah, he's gonna hemorrhage all these knights. I just have to make sure he doesn't get me past the wonder. Okay, that landing force did not, not go well. Nobody's even close to getting the wonder, it looks like. Is anybody getting the other side? Yeah, they are. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's uh, sprint and sprint. These guys can hold here. Blue's trying to... He's trying to demo ship down the walls. That's really funny. Oh, they're trying to stop me now, dude. Ah, we got it. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. That's so funny, dude. I can't believe we won that game. We were such a piece of shit. <laughs> It's just, you know, having the middle island on Delhi, though, with the cheaper stone is nice. It's a weird way to get <laughs> Ah, we got it. God, isn't that funny, dude? I can't believe we definitely did not deserve to. I mean, we did deserve it in some ways. We fended off several attacks on the island, so that feels, that feels good. I'm happy with that one, you know, because they did try and stop me at the end. Well, you know, if people are going to be greedy and not delete their wonders, you know, then, uh, then they have to lose. People have to learn that they uh, that they lose if they. I mean, look. Here's the thing: if he deletes the wonder, then I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? How are the hands feeling? Pretty good. Island maps are not that hard. Yeah. Four relics plus sacred spilling through. Yeah. No, I was making good gold for sure. And yeah, you know, I mean, they were trying to invade, but the people had such big navies that they couldn't afford big landing forces. So I was able to fend them off. Rat tactics, baby, all day. Let's get it. Cool, cool. Let us go, baby. Yeah, War of Attrition for sure. I, I liked what the, uh, the the last guy who did the Sacred did, how he, he like defended it, had like an army there. If he could have held me off a little longer, he wins the game probably. 2v2v2. Two two two. Yeah, I, I did kill another player. Nobody else did. Everybody was pretty passive that game. It's because we didn't have Smeagol in there. All right. So now we're going to do a, um, let's go here, change mode. Um, let's do an old fashioned nomad game, a nomad mega random. We haven't done one of those in a long time. Those are always fun. And um, let's go with, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Load it on up, baby. Load it on up. <clears throat> yeah, well, Abasa definitely, how are we doing here? Nomad, Cole, Prime. 
Nanu, uh, Skin, Rad Hatter, and Sai. All right, play anything you want this time, guys. We're not gonna we're not gonna limit you. What do you guys want to see, by the way? Nomad means you only start with three villagers. It's a it's a very very funky one. Ah, uh, do we want to go with a Bassid? And become the Lord of Camels and then just die an inglorious death. Ah oh, man. Alright. Um who do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see Are the Abbasid suffering? Let's let's do Abbasid. Yeah, let's let's go lose. Although oh, the Holy Romans call to me, dude. I can't betray Sigmar. I have to play my Holy Romans. Perfect. You guys know you want the Holy Roman Empire, just like bathing in golden relics. Yeah, I, I think I want my mace, boys. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a drink. BRB, uh, 30 seconds. Thanks for joining today, guys. It's been a, it's been a weird. That first game was weird. It was very weird. Thank you, Null, for the donation. GG, well played. And uh, I think we're ready. Yeah, Nanu is fine. They're the only one. For the Emperor. Yeah, we're playing Sigmar here. That's right, Peeling. You know how it is. Hope you're doing well. Good All right. Luck. Yeah, Nomads? I'm oh, fine. I'm sorry, Dark Age Rush. Should I get you? I wanted to... We don't do Nomad often, so I figured, hey, let's let's give it a try. Rap Mongols. Yeah, we well, we already have um, a Mongol player. There's another Holy Roman player. Looks like it's going to be Nomad. That was fun turn. Glad I could finally make it. Yeah, yeah, it was a fun game. It was weird. It was weird. You know, that's uh, the thing. Normally, I mean, yeah, I'm, I think they just wanted the game to be over. The people who built Wonders, they're probably tired. Would be my guess. Like, if I was in that situation, I would always delete my Wonder. Because I want a chance to win the game. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to lose. Um... But yeah, I get it. If you're tired or whatever, you know, if my hands were hurting, I would do the same thing. So, yeah, Order of the Dragon's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be very, very fun. Just elite, badass Holy Romans. Yeah. By the way, big tournaments coming up um, on release. So I'm gonna have a couple one v one tournaments post launch, which will be a lot of fun. And um, we're gonna do some FFA tournaments, of course, like we usually do, and uh, all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Well, Siber Siberius, what was happening was I was on the middle. I didn't really have... Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Do we have like all three of our workers like in one area here? It's pretty nice. So we got a stone node here. Um, stone. I would like to find some like gold if possible. Is this a gold node? Is it? Precious? No. Okay. All right. So, so far we're just kind of scouting with our prelate. It's kind of cool that I get the prelate. It's like a fourth scout, technically. Um, not much gold up here, so that's not good. This looks like a very resource devoid um, corner. But it's a great corner, but if it's devoid of resources, ah, uh, it is not. All right, so let's go over here. Nice. And it looks like, yeah, we have a pretty good spot starting position here. And if that, does that reach the trees too? Let's see. Oh, that's a very good spot. That's very, very good. We got the trees. The only thing we're missing is uh, food, which there are some sheep nearby, so we'll try and grab those. Yeah, Age of Wonders four. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing it. We're gonna be doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Inti. Just go. I should just forget the town center, build triple barracks, and hunt hunt villagers. Wouldn't it be funny to build a house in a barracks and just like hunt the people building their bases with spearmen? That would be the funniest shit ever. I'm not too excited for the Jean of Arc. Jean d'Arc, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm i not good enough at, at like individual unit management to not lose her over and over. So that's not my style. You know what I'm saying? Like a, the, it's kind of like the English king. Leave his stream. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's fine. 
Yeah, we do have berry bushes down there, so we can go grab those right out of the gates too. Um, let's actually go get on the berry bushes. Right away. We'll do this and the, this. Friar Chuck can come down here. And we'll do it. Yeah, if, if the Wonder God deleted, I'm dead. Yes. They, they could have just swarmed me. But two of them did attack me. Blue tried to stop me, and so did um, so did uh, Red, and I was able to fend them off. So that was what saved me that game. Otherwise, the Wonder Player wins. Peaceful game, guys, is what he says. That's pretty funny. Come on, finish it. I should have just let that villager do his thing, but Fire Chuck's going to give him the Jesus. You leave the main character in the base. Yeah. Okay, outstanding. Let's go down this way and get this party started. Cool. So, firstly, we'll start with the house. And yeah, nice little spot. We got this like tree line next to us, which is great. Um, so we'll get a couple workers on these berry bushes with the power of Jesus. Um, definitely need to get a scout, so we're going to build the scout next. And uh, yeah, now we got good food, and I'm very happy. Very happy indeed. Oh yeah, Age is, Age is, uh, it's been a good consistent game, you know? Like a good consistent solid multiplayer game. Whereas like, you know, Total War Warhammer, you guys know the shit that's going on with CA right now. It's just like, Jesus, it's like anarchy. But Total War has always been heavily neglected in multiplayer. We, we've kind of as a community had to like make it something. Um, but yeah, no, that's why I'm very grateful to have Age of Empires to play because this game's so fun. It's so fun. Like I would stream Age more if it weren't so micro taxing. Um, all right, little mountain pass here. Should have maybe gone up in the corner here, although let's go see if we can find any relics. Holy shit, is this like some forbidden corner here? Okay, hold up. So we're going to set our lumber up here maybe, and at some point, lumberjack... Oh my god, it's like a forbidden valley back there. Oh man, that's going to be something. <clears throat> whoever was whoever whispered was a tyrant last game too, if you guys are still talking about last game. that I don't know how he was so rich. He must have been trading somewhere, aside from that middle post, I, I'm guessing, because he was just such a powerhouse. Alright, so we'll start on gold now. Um, actually, one more on food is probably going to be good. What company is it? A dumpster fire? Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> more cast... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do casted replays. We're going to do, like, you know, pro replays and, and all that. Yeah, looks like a prime place for a wonder, I agree. Alright, let's get through the bushes here. We got you guys. True. I like how he just calls me turn. I'm just like, you know, the low effort memes. Company of Heroes expansion. Ah, yeah. Company of Heroes um, is fun, but I'm not like, uh, I love base building RTSs. Total War is a bit of a unique thing for me. I've always just really liked the Warhammer universe. So, and Shogun too is like one of my favorite games of all time, but um, let's see what we can find. Yeah, I need to get Castle Age before anybody else, obviously, and get those sweet, sweet relics. You found no sheep. Relics are looking bleak. Hey, thanks for becoming a channel member, Mabel. Greatly appreciate it. All right. Okay, so we got the Mongols down here. Let's keep exploring. Um, our position is really good, though. It's really good. Did he garrison? No, he didn't. Okay. Thanks for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a, well, we're playing Nomad, so you're able to choose your spawn to an extent, right? So I, I moved over here. Um, okay, there's one relic. Been spotted by uh, J. Cole is playing Chinese. I should be able to get the age up quicker than anybody. <clears throat> I'd be surprised. Um, Aachen on. Hmm. Aachen probably like. Man, do I go Aachen up here? Just have that like clear the trees. But I need the Aachen for the fast castle, right? Sweet, sweet resources, Batman. That's a lot. Look at all those gold nodes there. It's only one relic so far, though. Let's see if we can find one. Like maybe in the mountain pass here or something like that. Okay, so now we just need you to age up. So let's call Friar Chuck back. You see the deer encampment. Um, I would rather find the relics. HRE is pretty good at wonder defenses too. Like with the um, with the elves back, you can get the damage resist on the uh, on the the landmark, which is pretty good. Man, only one relic. For me, like the benchmark is like if I can get three, then I'm pretty happy. Okay, so, huh. I th do I build that up there and just lumberjack through? The no, it's too inefficient. I need places for the farms. So probably we build it up here, I would say, is going to be the play. All right, turn. Do Aachen right here. Yeah, it's a little bit janky, but it's going to give me a wood drop-off site while also hitting gold. 
So it is what it is. It, it could be better. It could be worse. Um, eventually, I'll go up there with the prelate and try and you know chop my way through all that. So pretty quick age up actually. We're gonna hit a good age up. A lot of nasty mountain passes near us. You can see this, guys. Let's come here see if we can find more relics. Um, that is gonna pop off soon. And that'll give us the wood influence. Um, and yeah, we just need to survive in the corner. We just need to survive. From New Zealand. Hey, right on, man. Hope your lunch break's going well. I used to watch Air of Carthage on my lunch breaks when I was uh, when I used to work at the uh, nonprofit. Good times, man. Byzantines or Japanese? Dude, I don't know. I'm so excited for both of them. I studied Japanese language for four years. So I'm pretty hyped for that, but also um, the Byzantines are just such a rad culture. So it's, um, I don't know, man. I, I don't think I could choose. Yeah, probably make another scout here ain't a bad idea. All right, we got Nanu who is playing the French. It looks like they're going for 2TC French, which is fine. Okay, another relic, but it is deep in enemy territory. Nanu says, oh no. Oh, that's pretty funny. Okay. Okay, let's grab you guys, do this. And head out this way. The dog barking is distracting me. Just been going at it all day. Okay, looking good. Gonna need to move over to the other berry bushes soon. Be back to, yeah, I'll, I, next, next season, I think I will make a push for Conqueror, I think. I think it'll be pretty doable. If you just like main one, you know, one one faction and just kind of focus on that. And Oh, there's water. Holy shit. Okay, so I, I am, even though I do have a good water position, I am completely out of the game. Or excuse me, I'm completely out of the game as it pertains to that stuff. Um, all right, so let's go up here. Leave you to finish the berry bushes off. All right. Uh, double sacred site right next to each other. Cool. I'm sure Delhi Delhi players all across the world will be excited for that. Why are you like this? Why are you like this, Green? Wonder if he's going to attack me. Okay, let's keep it going. We have the deer going hard in the paint up here. Let's get another prelate. And uh, okay, so the water is actually close close-ish to us, but I think it's too late. And, um, okay, so we see red. Don't want to ride past that. So, so far we only see two relics, which means others are probably on the other side of the river. Okay, we're going to get the wheelbarrow. And um, we're going to go down here, build this. I could get attacked by a knight, so I'm just going to build a spearman. Yeah, indeed. Okay, relic. Okay, I see three relics. So it's going to be a bit of an effort to get those, but we're going to try our best. Let's get Friar Chuck up here to motivate these guys. And then um, we can have you guys turn in in a second and put them all in food and then just kind of try and catapult ourselves to the next stage. Yeah, no water. No water for us. Red is all the way down here, which I believe he's playing a Bassid. Yeah, Bassid can be some nasty pressure for sure. Okay, people are just now reaching Feudal Age. And we're kind of, you know, closing in on Castle Age resources. Unfortunately, yeah, man, I really wish we had uh, gotten closer to the water. Like, right here would have been a good spot. You know, how can you know when you've got but one humble villager? All right. Fortunately, they hunted that deer that was a little bit far away. Let's get him over there. Um, for you, let's go ahead and seal this off. We have been scouted. Oh, keep, I, need to, I need to hockey bind those. It's pretty potato how I do it. So that should buy us time for southern pressure. So then we just need to worry about the north. Okay, feudal age is up. We got two prelates ready to go. Spearmen are on the way. It's gonna be some secret agent missions for sure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try. We can leave four on wood for now. That's fine. Okay, so let's go see who's on the other side of the river. I don't know why they're battling it out. We we do not need that. And spears. Yeah, just need a little bit more food. Quite a bit more, I should say. As a matter of fact, building a marketplace would probably be prudent. So I can just buy food and turbo on my way to Castle Age if need be. Down you go. Do that. We get more water over here. Yeah, these relics are the ones we focus on in the center. So we'll build a gatehouse in a moment. Come on, boys. 
All these attack notifications give me a little bit of anxiety. All right, so that's going good. We found Orange's base, and that's going to be the end of the road. Wow, Orange Sai with a really nice position too. In the corner, that's a that's a thing of beauty. Okay, we're gonna start buying our way up to the next age. Uh, we'll get some spearmen. I don't think anybody's gonna beat us there. Maybe the other Holy Roman player would be the only one who would have like good chances. All right, so we need a little bit more. So let's go down here, buddy. And let's get you, and uh, you can go down here. And let's get you and do this. And now we can get the Regnets, which... Can it actually fit up here? Nice. It's actually a sweet spot. All right, so the crew is on its way. Um, we're going to go over here. Um, hmm. Yeah, just go secure these two, and then we'll worry about the last one. That's going to be okay, I think. Okay. Houses. That's probably a deli player. No, shit. Oh, no, it's a, it's another HRE player, yeah. So he hit his timing around the same point I did. If I can just get one of these, I guess we'll call it a win. If I get none, then I'm just a potato lord. All right, so let's go down here. Shit, he just grabbed it. He just grabbed it. He just grabbed both of them. I'm, I'm in deep danger. Okay, and okay. Yeah, he had a closer run distance for sure. All right, let's see if we can find him and catch him. Have the Holy Roman. Oh, here we go. Perfect. He's low. He's low. He's low. This is a good opportunity. Nice, nice, nice. What was he getting? Oh, the Barbican got him. Okay. Okay. This is this is the promised land here. Okay. Just give me two relics, please. I ain't asking for much. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Let's get back. Outstanding. And now we can uh, head back to the base. Okay, so we got one. It's it's certainly better than nothing. Um, let's keep here. And you can follow here. We're gonna try and grab this one from yellow. So that was that could have been a crisis. That could have been an absolute crisis. But at the end of the day, it's it's gonna be all right. Now we need to get a knock in um, food economy. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Back you go. All right. Back on. Back. Our quarrel is not with you, mighty, mighty Mongol lords. All right. So he's motivating the boys. Let's keep this up. Uh huh. Let's just make a bunch of spearmen so we don't get raided by a bunch of horsemen. Keep hustling down here. Man, these relics were a straight. I, I feel like I just journeyed to Mordor to get these relics, dude. Oh! <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we're just gonna have to conquer people to get their relics, which is certainly not easy. But we're gonna we're gonna do our best. Okay. So did we at least get the one? Yeah, it looks like we did. That's it, though. That's rough. That's only one relic, guys. We we had a very very far spawn from those. Okay. So we're gonna hit the wood hard. Um, we're gonna have to do conquest. So I'm just gonna go imperial off multiple TCs here. I'm just gonna go two TC and eco hard, and just try and overwhelm somebody. That's my plan. Yeah, the relics spawned very far away this time. It was uh, it was it was tricky, you know. But that's how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes when you go in the corner, you know, you don't get the best resources. Did this fire truck make it back? He did. Okay, good. At least we got one. And we got farms coming up here, which is good. Farms, farms, and farms. Uh, I could have sworn I made a, a prelate. All right, so let's go get you back in there, buddy. And now we just eco. We just eco up here. Got to focus on the stone. Cool, and uh, we have you and you. So he's gonna go jump in there. You guys get back onto these. And the Aachen farms will hopefully get me uh, get me going. So yeah, probably gonna go try and kill Yellow first because he for sure will get that relic. Um, the other HRE player is gonna be exponentially stronger than me at this point. Blood for relics, I know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to work hard for it. Alrighty, so let's do this. We're just gonna go mouth breathing, like HRE mouth breathing, men at arms. It's it's a very fun way to play. So, all right, let's get you motivating the stone workers. Um, yeah, we're definitely not strong because the fast castle, the whole thing is like 
We could make a dash for this one. Let's go try and get that again. See if we can get lucky. All right, so lumberjacking is going fine. Do this, drop you here. People are reaching castle age, so our moment in the sun is now officially over. And let's get the food upgrades. We're gonna go try and grab that one again, see if we can get lucky. Yeah, why the hell not, right? All right, so we'll drop that here. We're gonna go triple TC. That's uh, that's our, our scheme here. Is the prelate with us? He is not. Okay, he's should be coming. Okay, he's he's over the top here. So the prelate will find his way through. We're gonna go see if we can do a secret agent mission. Okay, he's never mind. He's got archers. That's not gonna happen. Well, that's actually a different player. Okay, so we're we're probably fine for now. Okay, so TC is on its way. Uh, as soon as they do that, they can keep on the stone. Friar Chuck's coming for Mission Impossible. We we just want your relic, dude. We're we're all peaceful, I swear. Yeah, Nomad's gonna be the strongest because he got. I think he the relic spawned closer to the south, and he got a whole bunch. It looks like. But yeah, we need to go here. Nomad looking very very strong right now. But our position is very safe too. That's one thing we have going for us. Okay, let's see how sneaky we can be. The knights, uh, these soldiers might actually just draw attention to that prelate. Oh my god, look, look, look. I'm running right past him. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Let's keep hitting the wood here. Keep expanding. Come on, come on, Friar Chuck. Oh! <laughs> He tried, dude. He tried. Oh man. Okay. So yeah, I'm the potato king now. I, I've accepted my role. I've I've taken my final form. All right. So let's get the production. Pull these guys back. It's nothing personal, dude. We were just running by. So um, yeah. Let's do that. And uh, do we have enough for another TC here? All right. So let's go for that big corner TC. And uh, get it going. Farm should be kicking off here soon, now that we're getting more wood. And you guys, let's go to the middle and see if we can like take some of these big gold nodes. I'm going to take more of you guys down there too and see if we can grab those. Meanwhile, the TCs will keep uh, pumping out bills at home. Alright, so we never built one of these. Yes, we did. Good. Spears are hanging out. And uh, yeah, life is good, man. Life is good. I, I don't know what happened with Sai, how Sai died so quickly. Someone might have come in like a wrecking ball and tried to give him the business, but I'm going to be Castle Age for a while because I'm going Triple TC, very delayed Triple TC. It's like very Walmart Triple TC here. Okay. Let's wall that. Make sure nobody can sneak into the back of my base. And we got the racks coming up, archer ranges. Outstanding, all right. Pump the jams, take as much gold as we can from the middle, because we don't have any relics, so we are going to have to rely on our super good economy here. Aachen farms are online. Some people are just now reaching Castle Age too, so that's that's a good sign for us, for sure. Uh, let's turn in and be get these towers up so we have a place to hide, just in case. Gets like swarmed by knights or something. That would be very unfortunate, but it for sure could happen. Uh-huh. All right, so slowly securing our empire, equaling hard. Do we go for the dreaded quad TC? Is that the true play here of the gods? I think it might be, guys. Red killed you? Okay. Yeah, oh, that's why he was so late to Castle Age. All right, that explains it. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go for the, the quad TC of the gods. The pure greed. We're in the corner. Let's just hope nobody notices us for a while, and uh, we can live our best life. Yeah, basically it. Okay, let's pop you out here. Looks like nobody's working that farm. Maybe they are. Hard to tell. All right, this is almost Mimi now. Janine, thank you for the uh, donation. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you're having fun watching me suffer. 
Hey, darling, welcome back. About an hour. Love you. No, I'm good. Thank you, darling. All right, so let's go up here, tackle these boars. The dreaded quad DC is upon us. Red took over the west corner. Yeah, not surprised to hear it. Okay, and then do that. We get the boar. Look at these villagers. Absolute raid bosses. No. You guys want to build that first. Then we go for the boar. Okay, some more farms for the farm god. Farms for the farm throne. People are dying down here. Yeah, Nomad is going to take over. He's probably very strong. My only chance is that I'm a corner goblin. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. All right, let's get our army and just go sit there. Okay, so this is why I built these towers. Let's uh, make them into spring towers. And we can take our army down there and make sure to secure that. So like our only chance at resources here. So it really needs to go well. Nomad probably has like four relics. Oh man. Yeah, I do have gods here, like uh, wonder placement. That's what's going to keep me in this game potentially. Okay, cool. So they're back in business here, and we're going to keep our army standing nearby. And um, we can also continue entrenching our base. Making it a little bit harder to get to us. Somebody's been after all the stone. I got the quad TC. Supplies. Yeah, this corner wonder spot is just pure filth. It's just disgusting. I almost want to just rush it with like everybody still in the game and see what happens. Yeah, that's partially why the delayed age up here isn't bad. Um, yeah, so I am just I'm just the absolute turd. I mean, yellow is probably gonna die here. I would wager. Okay, let's leave that. How we looking? Let's grab a handful of you guys. Turn in. Head over there. Grab these. Go go go. There they go. Outstanding. And now we got spring towers here, so this middle area should be safe. You suffer for us. I got you. I got you. All right, so yeah, food economy is all right. Let's grab some more of you guys and set up shop here. And we can do this. And then you guys can come down and do a little bit more food here. All right, so yeah, I mean, like, we're going to be popping off in terms of our economic power for sure. I'm avenging Sai, says Cole. I almost want to just try and grab the sacred site. Yeah, there's a really no way to get there other than that. Hmm. Strange. Strange times indeed. Not any rush for Imp because we want to mine further back and get our L's back going back there. With our quad TC. And um, I wonder who has relics. Let's go see what yellow looks like. I'm going to go see if I can find... I know where their church is, so I can, I can probably get that at some point or other. Don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And then, yep. Just saying China will be a tyrant. Okay, so they're already kind of complaining and fighting amongst one another. Is there no way to get to yellow? Like, easy way? Yeah, it has to be through here. I guess I could go through the back, through the mountain pass, but I suspect he's walled that, so... That's probably not going to happen. Alright, so do I build L's Chad yet? I want to get a little bit further back before I do. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of delaying a lot of my tech. Let's just spam stuff out. I might have to just go steamroll the Rad Hatter here too, if possible. I don't know. He might beat me, but, um, he is, he is kind of in the way for sure. So L's back, I would like it to be further back, but I need the Imperial. Um, yeah, I guess we could slap it down here and then the Wonder would go like right behind it, but then it I could get landmark sniped if that happens. That's the problem, you know? Yeah, man, I really want to get further back there. I guess we just build up an army for now and then we can age up later. Just get mid golden cackle. I mean, that's what we're doing right now for sure. We're doing that for the emergency repairs. Yeah, so we're going to delay our age up a little bit. It's all good. We're going to keep Lumberjacking back. Prime's been eliminated. We'll build some rams um, and just prepare the Holy Roman Steamroller. 
Our gold is basically non-existent right now, so we need to pump the villagers on that. You guys come over there. TC's going, and uh, yeah, we got the quad eco, man. Looks like I've been queuing up too many villagers. Been getting too excited with that. All right, so this gives us a little bit of time to lumberjack further back. Yeah, now we could drop it. Hmm. The wonder could go like right here, like right here, and then L's back could go like just behind it. Okay. Yeah, our our wonder position's good, but I guarantee you, there's people like trading and cackling and and doing every sort of other you know evil scheme that you could possibly imagine. Okay, let's do this. We grab you. Come down here. We're going to start building some defensive landmarks in our base just in case things get crazy. Um, is there any more stone on the map? There is some stone down there, but I suspect it's been taken. So we're just going to grab this. Now we have you and you. So we got the springs here. Should be adequate. We sell some food. Yeah, our food economy is pretty popping. It's, it's very good. All right, so let's do this. Drop that, and um, we can come here and do L's back, like, right here. And then the wonder should be able to plop down right, like, here. I think it can. Can you build, like, on that hill like that? Ooh, no. Oh, hold on. No, no. L's back might need to go, like, right here. Unfortunately, it's not behind the wonder, but it's pretty deep. This would be my last stand anyway, so I suppose it's not the worst spot. And then we can drop the... Uh, the wonder down there, right? All right, finish off the berry bushes. Yeah, Green's been pretty quiet this game for sure. He's been he's been chilling. But we are about to age up, and our eco is looking rock solid. All right, so let's keep lumberjacking, make space here, and uh, we can get the elite men at arms, and we need to get army tactics as soon as possible. Also, our haggard gatehouse of the gods. Army Tactics is very good for HRE, for those, like, timing pushes. Good minions, good. Construct additional pylons. Oh, hello. Somebody's somebody's shooting me with something. I don't know what. But this is the time where we would fight over the middle, for sure. Uh, let's make some hand cannoneers. Um, keeps coming up in case we get rushed. We got a lot here. We got a prelate motivating those workers. Let's get a prelate back here. Tithe Barnes isn't even worth it for us at this point. All right, five and siege workshop should be coming. I don't know how strong the Mongols are. I mean, they could be an unholy terror for all I know. They could be very strong. Got to get gold the old fashioned way, man. Yeah, so our military is going to be a little bit small because our eco's too sauced. Let's get elite spears. All right, so coming down this way, let's go. Let's go knock on heaven's door and see what we uh, can get done here. I believe we just got the elite stuff, so Mongols could come. Oh, look at that! We have our own little pond in the back. How cool is that? I'm pretty sure a wonder will fit down here. I really hope I'm not wrong. That would be really depressing if it wouldn't. Uh huh. And let's make some rams. And uh, yeah, let's just attack. Let's let's uh, seize the day, you know. Seize the carp the carp the DM. Magic carp. It's time. All right. So walls. Holy shit! All right. Homie's got um, what appears to be a lot of archers, and we can probably dive those. Yeah. Okay. His military is pretty small. I think we can overwhelm him. If we could just get those mangoes, then we're a okay. Okay, let's get on the food. Let's do this. Have you guys come over here and do this. Let's get here. And you guys go here. Dive and dive. And all's good in the neighborhood. All right. Go forth, Rams, and prosper. Now, the question is, does he have any relics? Probably not. I don't think he does. The middle is being uh, hotly contested. There's a big-ass Chinese army down there, which we don't want to fight yet. But at least we did basically wreck the Mongols. They're pretty much toast at this point. I mean, tons of eco damage. Do they have any relics, though? That's what I'm really here for, you know? Relics! Relics! Give them to me! Oh, okay. A little counter raid. Pretty cute. Yeah, killed some, killed some workers. Good, good. I like it. I respect it. But we can, uh, our dreaded quad TC can simply replace them. 
More will rise. Alright, so yeah, the Mongol base is steamrolled. Um, let's try and get as many landmarks as we can so they can't flee the scene as easily and potentially go down. Um, it looks like a little bit of pressure here from green. Let's send you guys down this way. Hey, emergency repairs saves the day. Alright, so green's basically toast. That last night there, still having a good old jolly time. We could get pushed out of the middle. This Chinese player is way stronger than us right now, I suspect. Um, this, you guys can chase that, no problem. And then we can have a couple of you guys come back. And uh, then we go push the Mongols. Although they are kind of like trolling the Chinese here. I kind of want to let them do that while I just like hold on to the other two notes. All right, cool. Secure the gold, that's the plan. We're gonna try and get those deer stones also. Was he castle age or he was imperial, yeah. All right, come on team, gather up here. Let's go to university, let's get army tactics and gunpowder. Um, and yeah, it looks like China is, is gonna finish that off. So let's save our resources and move back up. 104 eco, pretty good. Looks like we have some villagers garrison in one of these. The potato plays. We got prelates, I believe, over most of our eco. Yeah, there's prelates here. We got prelates in the wood line. I was trying to be nice green, but you poked me. Wow, look at that, the, the hostility, the rage. Fighting a war here, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like uh, it wouldn't go well for me against Chinese, considering I'm just like a potato HRE with no relics. So we're going to start working on this. Um, get some culverins down here. Let's get those. Gold's coming back online. And yeah, I mean, we're all right. Yellow's still alive. Nanu probably has my relics, you know. Probably has them nice and good like. Um, still lumber. I love my personal water here. That's my favorite part. China's army is okay. I could probably beat it actually with what I have here, but do I want to? Is there any point? Uh, if they do move on to that gold, yeah, fighting over the 8,000 gold is probably worth. So let's wait for our culvern to get here before we try any funny business. All right, upgrades. We're almost fully upgraded. God, uh, sucks playing HRE with no relics, dude. It's it's like, that's the whole sieve. Hell's Chad Palace in the corner. Getting stoned without tithe barns is going to be brutal. I'm going to have to, like, buy my way there. Is there any trade around? Um... There's Rad Hatters, Destroyed Landmark, China is here. There is a trade post there, which would be prime time. So let's cut this and this. Let's get you guys to uh, set up trade here. Go like so. And if we can secure that trade, then we're like in the business. You know, then I'd say we're we're looking pretty, pretty hot. Let's make trade post here to do that more efficiently. Yeah, I feel like I can't let him have that for free. So what do we got here? Yeah, he's walling the trade. So let's send you guys in. Get elite horsemen. Is the culverin almost here? It's got to be. Okay. When the culv comes, we can go because that's when we'll we'll do very well. China mustering its armies. It's probably bigger than mine. Um, I assume I'm close to his main base. So that's uh, the one thing we don't have going for us. Let's get some some floppy hats of doom. A peace offering. That that means you're getting the better um, you're getting the better deal. Okay. So let's go. Let's get the culf. The culfs can go here and here. Oh man, my army quality is going to be so shitty. Okay, so we're taking a fight. I have no idea how it's going. The mace men are was, appear to be outnumbered. Okay, let's dive this and this. Keep going down all these. And um, maces, rams, yes. Okay, so that fight actually went surprisingly well, all things considered. Let's pull these rams over. And we do have some supply lines. Let's get horsemen. Um, you guys need to go over here and grab this. Wow, we actually won that fight, are you serious? Okay, I'll, I'll take it, dude, I'm here for the scraps. Sign me up for that shit all day. All right, Culverin, flip around, give him the dirty. Knock these guys down and get the nest of bees. Cool. Yeah, we need this trade. This is like, this is huge for us. All right, so let's get you. 
Start doing trade down there. And we're gonna have to delete some villagers here in time. Oh shit, it's the Great Wall Gatehouse there. Alright. So China has been fended off for now. Let's clear out these walls if we can. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Janine. Thank you, thank you. It's, uh, yeah, this game's great. It's, it's always a good time. Always a good time. Alright, so let's, like, start creating a bit of a hybrid wall. Oh, look, those troops are running across the Great Wall's, uh, platform there. Isn't that cool? Our eco's a little bit strong, so we can probably delete a couple of these. Mongols are back trying to take some gold, so we'll happily go punish that. Okay, let's get some of you guys to come here, repair this. Um, probably set up middle infrastructure so I can fight more effectively would be the play. The Mongols are... the Mongol threat is ever, ever present. Okay, let's get that culverin repaired. When the culverin's repaired, um, army tactics is up. Let's get biology next. Alright, so we just want that trade. So we're going to do a couple towers here to make sure that we get it. Culverin, come back and snipe the artillery back here if you can. And dive and dive. Yeah, we do have a pretty mean eco, for sure. Okay, so we managed to get back there. Let's get the Culverin to snipe this. Uh, let's get the Bombard to take down the landmark. Maybe he's not paying attention. We don't want to let the Mongols recover, that's for damn sure. But China is going to come at me like a, like a honey badger here in a minute. I suspect. Yeah, I think there's going to be some nastiness, so. Is there walls here? Looks like somebody may have walled there or something, I'm not sure. Alright, so that landmark should go down. Uh, let's hit that. <laughs> Start chasing me off the land. <laughs> Back to the sea with you! He's a sea creature, so we have to uh, we have to take him down here. All right. So Mongols have got to be like hiding a landmark somewhere. All right. So there's a wall from Old Pink here. All right. So how are we looking here? Do we have trade coming? Uh, the traders should be on their way down, right? 56 a pop. It's a bit of a circuitous route, so it's not amazing, but... Ah, here's the White Stupa. I think if we get this, then they're just toast. Alright, so let's get you guys down in the nest of bees there. Culverin can move this way. And uh, here comes China. China up to no good as usual here. In FFA games, always a tyrant. Looks like the White Stupa is there. Or, no, that's the Cognate Palace, I think. Yeah, I'm going to try and kill, like, take him out here if we can. I believe that's his last landmark, so if we just get some horsemen on it, it should seal the deal. And then we can focus our efforts on, um, is this within range? Yeah, we can emergency repair this, actually. Nice. We can focus our efforts on, uh, the bigger fish, which is the Chinese. Okay, let's get you. Dude, the Mongol, I love how Mongol bases can just, like, outrun your shit, like your horsemen. The horsemen will keep tabs on that thing, though. Okay, stone emplacement there. The Mongol rats are still up in the north here. I'm not gonna take my foot off the pedal. You can't. I can't let him. I can't let him get away. He's been too elusive so far. All right. So that's almost done. Okay, that's going down. Everything here is looking good. And um, we need to just keep that trade going. Is he not dead yet? Seriously? Did he repair that landmark? He probably did. Okay, son of a gun. Look at this. He's got like TCs everywhere, dude. He's living in, living in the hills. Wonder and cannon ships. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, we got our trade. China's trading too for 41, so we just have to kind of accept that at this point. Where are they even trading with, though, is the question. Okay, so let's do this, and then finish that. Come on, boys. Where is the? Where are they hiding the last of their bases? There's a barracks here. Found a couple of those up there. China's definitely trading. Um, 
Our wood eco is doing great. We've kind of cleared off this back area. I really hope there's enough. If there's not enough space for a wonder back here, I'm going to be genuinely sad. Oh, oh, I can actually probably check right now. Hold on. Uh, yeah, it'll probably fit like right here. I don't know. We'll, we'll check as soon as we get the resources, which maybe never, but. All right. So now it's time for China to... Man, but if we let the Mongols live, they're just going to troll us this whole game. Okay, so let's go there with those bad boys. All right, good job, team. Let's grab these gold, this gold here if we can. Been having a good jolly time with my traders. The big old Chinese army coming out of the gatehouse here. Make some hand cannoneers. Maybe we'll want night upgrades someday. So that's one, two. Let's go see how this one looks. Okay, palace guard army. Should trade okay into it. Take these horsemen. Go snipe this and this. And uh, yeah, probably build some forward supply lines at this point. One down. Let's get the bombard cannons and snipe those and those. Get the rams going here. Yeah, he's got a bigger army than me. I'm going to have to probably cut some uh, villager eco. I don't know why. You're in there. Get them, my nest of bees. Get them, my pretties. Yeah, because our supply lines suck really bad right now. He's just like pumping out from his main base and we're having to run like all the way down here. Yeah, gold's going to become an issue soon. It's going to be like, you know... Get the trade or uh, pay the price. Okay. We need to gather up everybody. They're taking weird pathing. Uh, that spot needs to probably be dealt with. Last of our traders. How many traders do we have left? 20? Okay, so they need to just pause there for a second. All right, team. What's over here? Nothing? All right. Gather up. Just get a June push. We should be able to push them back. Although we only have 400 gold, shit. Never mind. Our gold gravy train is—it uh, was—it was once a once a thing, but not anymore. The thing about him is he's kind of probably sandwiched. Although I suspect, I suspect Pink might have like the entire corner to themselves. The Mongols trying to find a place in this world, they say. Pretty funny. Um, Yellow's still very much alive with relics. That's not going to happen easy. Alright, so let's just make some spearmen and some archers, which are not even elite yet, which is not good. But, you know, can't can't win them all. Yeah, yeah. At least we're fully upgraded before we kind of ran out of money. Alright, so this army probably wins. The problem is, do we have any, like, follow-up for her? Let's get you guys down here. Try and play this. Um, those gold nodes are so juicy. We can't let, we just can't let them slide for free. Let's try and slip some by here. All right, so we're going to take this fight, and hopefully we win against this Chinese army. No guarantees, though. That's for damn sure. Um, Culves are here, so let's snipe uh, you and you. Horsemen will do very, very well. Our traders are going in like champs, but not having a good time. Let's hit these guys. Yeah, it's basically just a hand cannon here duel at this point. All right, pop it, and pop it like it's hot. Okay, okay, good. We had the critical mass of hand cannoneers needed to win that fight, which is great. And we do take down a lot of his units there. Outstanding. All right. So that was a very essential fight. If we lose that, then, you know, we're uh, in the pits a little bit. Cool. And then we got the villagers here. Let's gather up here, not lose anything beyond what we need to. And you guys just keep trading. Bombard cannons, clear these towers out. And I could have sworn I had some bills down here that I pulled. They, they must not be here yet. Here they are. All right. The, the team finally made it. We're going to take whatever scraps we can. Fighting turn for trade. I'm, I'm quite literally uh, in the pits in terms of trade. All right. Let's get this gold. Let's do this. Go protect our traders. What is our eco now? Like 170 something? I don't think his army can beat ours. We have like 27 hand cannoneers here. This is a really, really good quality army. But if we could just hang on to this, man, it's going to be good. 
Let's get that. Get a villager to repair it. You guys hang right here. Yes, free units. Sign me up. I'll take it. Give me all the scraps. Yes, the trickle, the trickling units, the freebies. Was he really diving the bombard cannon? Hard to tell there. Okay. Culverin needs to be repaired. Taking down the Chinese sites here. And in this choke point, we definitely have a pretty big advantage. All right, so trade is online for now. Um, Chinese army is good. Let's pull back a little bit. Lure them back, lure them back. Keep this culverin here. Make the artillery come out to the open, actually. So one and one. Let's take those bombards down. We can start making some rams. Yeah, he was able to get mine with uh, the double bombard well played. I don't know if I can win this. I don't. The Chinese army is like has just such good supply lines here. We're going to have to pull back. We have no gold, dude. This is so bad. Is there anywhere else we can trade? Let's like be get creative, you know? All right. So you guys just slumber. Looking good. Lumberjack in time. The traders are basically dead weight here. How many do we have still? We still have 28 traders. I don't know if China and I are going to have any sort of a mutual agreement here. So I'm just going to go do some scouting. Let's go look around and see if we can find anything else. We have walls all over here. Yeah, just not this spot, I suppose. Blessed 69. Let's go see what the Mongols got. How are they hanging here? Are they back? More importantly, are there any docks I can trade with? Um, so let's get you guys to hang out here. Take our troops that way. We're just going to stop fighting because, I mean, sure, we might be able to push them back, but we're not going to be able to hold it unless we have, like, money. So I am going to start setting up some outposts here and see if there's any funny business I can work with. All right, team, let's go. Anything down here we want to trade with? Any docks? Like, a dock here would be prime. Actually, that would just be super, super good. Um, so let's get this gatehouse here, and then we can do this here. Is that, yeah, possible? All right, perfect. So that's, that's going to be our new symbiotic relationship. That's going to be us poking out and uh, doing our thing. And just to make sure our guys path correctly, um, we want to probably wall this and wall this. Okay, and then is there any more villagers out here? I know there are. 59 a pop. I mean, that's pretty good. It's a very nice, nice amount. Unfortunately, they have to take such an ugly route to get it, but... All right, great. So we just secure this trade and I mean, and by secure it, I mean, hope the Mongols don't die anytime soon. I mean, if they do die, hopefully they leave that. Uh, no hate, just gold. Trade wins games. All right, so how are we looking here? Oh, we found the Mongols in the hills. This is probably their last one. Um, not sure what he's doing here with these guys. He's got that destroyed. <laughs> he says, turn why the stables is all I have. I can't, I can't let him just relax, you know, but that trade is pretty sweet. Look at him running with the town center. Look at the, the gremlin. Oh God, that's so funny. All right, so let's get you to do this and this. I just have to hope he doesn't delete his dock. If I can kill him, it guarantees I have it before he um, probably doesn't. So there's one dead landmark here. There's one here. Um, we're not really playing that. Let's go down and see what we got. He's got to be running around here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Uh, I don't need him to live for the trade, though. And it's safer this way, because then he, he can't delete it at any point. The rams are still hunting. All right. So I don't know if that'll even kill him. I think it will. 
Okay, I have to really hope he doesn't come up with the idea to spite delete right now. Hopefully he's not listening to the stream. That would be funny though, I wouldn't even be upset. Alright, so the... You never know, you don't want the late game 500 Mongol horsemen coming after you, you know? Okay, so we finally finished our conquest. And now he can't delete the docks anymore. So assuming they're still there, which they are, I'm actually like pretty happy here. All right, great. Outstanding. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. So let's bring you guys here, do a little bit of lumberjacking in the base, delete these rams. We got a big old army. We just got to make sure this path stays clear, so we're just going to kind of hang out in this area. Let's get you guys down here, do a little bit of walling of our own. <laughs> GG! Alright, so let's wall that, and then we can go ahead and do a little bit of walling here. Just kind of secure it. We have our glorious wooden palisade of doom, which is going to hopefully keep the French honest. And uh, yeah, we just we just trade, like the heathen kings of old. Unless he deleted his dock, which would be really troll. I don't think he did, though. Oh, did he spite delete his docks? He might have. I don't know. I don't know how he would think of that so quickly. You better not have heard me on stream. All right, let's go see if there's anything else here. I think he. I think he did spite delete the docks though before he died. Okay. No, there's still docks here. Why are we having problems? Did the other ones get deleted? Is that a different? Oh, that's a different player's dock. I think. No, they're all still here. Okay, so French villagers coming and cackling. Mm-hmm. You guys do this. Take our army. Go chill out over here. And uh, we need a gatehouse right there. Yeah, we need a gatehouse. The, the sad part is the French player is just going to see it. He's coming to trade for his 16 gold. I kind of... Nanu, we chilling? I normally am not a diplomacy guy, but in this situation, I kind of, I kind of want to, um, sh I, like he's getting so little from his trade that I'm happy to just let him do it. If I can get some assurances, he won't attack me, you know? Okay, so we got the gatehouse here. That's going. We got a nice little piece of the pie. Um, some minor stone resources. Great. Alright, so I'm happy to have a tentative peace with Nanu. Yeah, no, I'm gonna let him trade. My my instincts of being a bully in this game make me want to attack, but I, I know this is the right play to let him trade. Because he's only getting, like, he's getting 16 and I'm getting, you know, a lot more. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy to do that. Okay, looking good. Um, let's delete all these archers. Free up some military supply. Men at arms are fine. And just get the waves and trade. Just now we trade and just progressively buy stone. It's actually a big gold vein right there. I could probably make a dash for that one too. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I think the stone is more valuable to focus on initially though. Alrighty. I guess we could seal that in a, in a pinch if we needed to. Um, definitely some vulnerabilities here. Yeah, there's no way through there, right? Is there? Oh, those are rally points from earlier. All right, China. We've we've drawn our line in the sand here. This is this is where we uh, this is where we'll have our our peace accord. And I believe there's still a couple little openings around here. Doesn't look like you can get through there, actually, so we're, we're all good. All right, so let's sneak through here. Build a gatehouse and go grab that. Um... Shit, China's going to get that one. We're going to go try and get as much of that as we can. I don't want war with China right now. We're very much in, like, economic, like, let's have our peaceful times. Our food eco is amazing. Our gold is slowly building. Um... The gatehouses are going. And yeah, we just we just bank for any major conflict and let's get a little arrow in placement there. Okay, well that's not gonna fly. He's not gonna let us get that. Um, I guess we just lumberjack then. So let's just go lumberjack over here. 
The price of stone right now is not the worst. God, the fact that we only have that one relic sucks so bad. Has anyone found Teal yet? Um, I don't know where Teal is, no. We killed the Mongols. Um, Sai is dead, Prime is dead. Um, China probs trading in corner, by the way. I had to give up trade for him. He was Punisher. So beware. Okay, so this is where we start sowing the seeds of, uh, just, of, of, of stress, you know. If the Chinese start hammering my walls, I could definitely go with horseman raids, but I don't want to draw their attention over here. He's He's got to be strong. I mean, he's trading. You have that trade post. You're good. Uh, he says it's 15 trade. Okay, so let's go over here and see how much trade he actually has. It's probably way more than 15. He's, he's, he's quite rich at the moment. Whatever possum he's trying to play is definitely not... Um, God, if, if only we had a more direct route. We could lumberjack our way through here and make it a little bit quicker, actually. Okay, so they're going to finish the wall. Horsemen ready to go do some scouting in a second. Yeah, it looks like there's some Mortal Kombat. Nanu and I... What is Nanu even playing? Nanu is playing... Um, shit, okay, it could be, could be a French wonder at some point. Come on, traders. Running down to his trade to just scout. Look, he just, it's just one horseman. Okay, let's see how much trade he's got. Do we get to see one? Okay, I didn't see it, but I have to pretend I did. Def not 15 trade. All right. So we did our, our scouting. Let's clear these berry bushes. Man, he's, he's pulling the politics back. He's doing it. What are we at? 123 right now? Uh, let's delete these spearmen. And these men at arms. So just keep the hand cannoneers and horsemen. And just get more traders. Alright, so China, yeah, I mean, red is dead and purple is dead. So he killed two players, it looks like. Um, on the bottom side, though, I suspect there's some sort of mortal combat. Yeah, I, Nanu, Nanu, I think, is suffering for sure. So I'm happy to just trade here, but the trade is so slow. It's so far. All right, let's uh, see if we can get you to focus here. Lumberjack of the Gods, still going strong. Um, upgrades, almost fully upgraded. Let's get the Court Architects, Textiles, just all the important upgrades we're going to need. Uh, wall Health isn't bad. Reinforced Defenses for HRE Defense. Oh my god, Nomad's trading too? He's only getting 26 though, but he does have all the relics. It's funny how we're just like parasites, all of us. Just like, okay, what's shooting us? Is Cannon Tower here? What does South look like? I'm kind of curious what it looks like. Yeah, Pink does have the Sacred Sites, but I think I don't think Pink could stop all of us. I don't think it is. China is pure gold army. Good luck with that. Alright. He's pretty rich. It's probably just because of the nodes. Likely because of gold nodes. So they've been fighting for 40 minutes. Wow. Look at that. Okay, so I wonder how he's scouting that. I feel like I should go raid him. Yeah, I could do a little bit of raiding, but I don't want to get dragged into Mortal Wombat, you know? But scouting China out wouldn't be a bad idea. Just kind of running in and seeing what I can discover. Okay, something hitting us now? Maybe the tower is. Alright, so a little bit of fun. Our hand cannoneer army's lurking nearby. Um, just, just poking around. Can we actually get through here? Wow, maybe. Alright, so let's do this. Get some land snakes in there. 
And um, we can just get basic archers. Alright, so can't see any trade at the moment. We're just going to kind of run back this way. Looks like this... Um, oh, Nanu walled him out of the trade. Isn't that funny? Nanu was like, no, no trade for you. So no real opportunities to do much here. I mean, one thing I could do would be like a really disgusting ram push. With like 500 battering rams just like coming like a wrecking ball over here. Um, probably not a bad idea to set that up. I don't hate that idea. Okay, I don't know what's shooting me right now. Probably all good. But we're going to set up the dreaded Ramstein push. Okay. I'll stop yours if you do that, is what he says. Oh no, my trade, my gravy train could be coming to an end. God, and getting stone is like basically impossible here, guys. It's just like, it's just a nightmare. Our dreaded wood army is, is um, assembling. Excellent. All right, so that's going to go. Um, yeah, delete these lumber mills back here. Do we need this house? Looks like we're over the cap on houses as well. A wonder defense would be hard, but like I have nowhere near the resources. Getting this gold is... Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to get it for. So let's... Oh, let's make sure all our traders, by the way, are doing the full route. We can literally make like 5,000 rams, which would be really funny. Because we have so many resources in that regard. We have a lot of wood. I, I'm curious how this wonder defense would go. I, I don't know. It would probably... Oh, unfortunately, I screwed up. I can't wall here. Hmm. I could go behind the L's back and do like a wall, but it's a little bit janky, so. And plus Teal has, yeah, Teal has also, uh, also, Pink has all sacred. So care. In case you want to wonder. Yeah, all three sacreds are right here. I'm trying to like dissuade people from wondering, because he's got all three sacred sites. He just isn't capping the last one to mitigate his threat, threat levels. Uh, Nanu, Teal, want to check the threads? I, I had, uh, I had nothing, they're saying. Okay. I've been, uh, preaching peace. Yeah, that's true. You've been relatively peaceful. Yeah, getting, dealing with those sacred sites would be a pain. Alright, let's finish all these off. Uh, what's shooting us there? Is it that tower? It is. Okay, so we might need to send something to deal with that. Or we could just have our traders get this dock instead, and they should be out of range of it. Um, let's get one Treb here and start knocking on the walls. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go down. If I can get enough for Wonder, I think I have decent chances, but... Um, yeah, because we have a lot of like layers of walls and our base is very, very annoying. Nanu's chilling out. Um, we got you guys. Let's delete this and this. And we have the dreaded Ram Ram Apocalypse ready to go. Who's still who's playing Roost in this game? Yeah, there's no Roost actually. No, it's just China. So it looks like three are dead. There's so there's five of us left. I have no idea where Teal is or what he's doing. As far as these other upgrades go, nothing really worth it to me. They're all motivating, and the traders are going hard, getting 64 a pop. And we're just kind of uh, hanging out. Let's buy a little bit more stone. Just literally takes all of our gold. It's a five. It's a 500 exchange rate right now. All right. So do we go pedal to the metal? Here is the question. I don't think so. I think we just keep banking. I have 586 gold. So do with that info as you will. <laughs> It's a very specific number, you know? Maybe maybe they believe it, right? All right, so let's just queue up the rams so they'll pop out when um, I'm ready to push. And we just, we just try our best, you know? And then we can also build more infrastructure here. All right, so they finished that. All right, cool. So five, we're gonna make that seven. This will be five here. The villagers clearing out the berry bushes. Got to keep going. 
Trade for the trade god, trade for the trade throne. Teal, Yellow and I have a peace accord. I think he's very weak. I think he's, um, he's been getting, just dragged into long wars. He's only getting 19 a trade route, so it's like, whatever. We're good there. We're setting up forward infrastructure here. As a matter of fact, let's get you guys to help. Okay. We're gonna make a lot of crappy units, ladies and gentlemen. And these ones will arrive at the Chinese front way quicker. All right, so we have our two supply groups. I believe all the important upgrades are basically done. Chill Teal, he says. Where is Teal even? I have no idea where Teal is, dude. What is what is he doing? Oof, that's a rough exchange rate right there. He's south? Okay, he must be in the very bottom. He must be in the very bottom. So the Ramstein Apocalypse is ready to pop out on our command. But we need to get the supply lines ready. Um, and yeah, the Ram Apocalypse could be good. I don't know where the Chinese player's actual base is. I assume he's got some funny business going on over here, but you never know. All right, let's keep buying stone. Yeah, I just buying my way up, slowly but surely. Sacred Sites and trade. I would see his traders going here, so it looks like he's not actually trading. I have a sip of water here real quick. Ah, you want the People's Rebellion, all the villagers with their pitchforks to rise up? Yeah, could be cool. But we need more of a sur surplus than this. We're getting a thousand gold a minute, which is respectable, but we have a shit ton of traders, too. We have 50 traders. If the route was... Oh, we actually did improve the route, so it's a little bit more direct now. Yeah, they, they have a better route. That's great. Kind of want to go harder in the trade department. Okay, looks great. So that's all coming up. So now we have a, a front bastion with which to launch an attack against Chinese if we need to. So if they start pushing us, we can respond in kind. I suspect somebody is gonna shut this trade down eventually. It's it's we're living, we're living, uh, you know, a dangerous life. And if he kills me, you all lose. Def not. Uh, Def can't kill ya. Defensive. I have one relic HRE. Which is true. I I do only have one relic. You know, there's there's truth to this. Here you go, here's the proof. There's the one relic. Um, Tithe Barn's definitely not worth it. Probably. If you ever get a second, can you just open the escape screen? Sure, there you go. There's the map seed for you. And you can go ahead and screenshot that if need be. China getting a little bit crazy over here. I never actually finished these walls. Oh, what is it, like a cannon tower or a hand cannon near post? Okay, it's a good thing we actually noticed that. That would have been a pretty obnoxious little opening with which uh, my opponent could have cackled. All right, so the Duhost apocalypse could be upon us. I could stop my food generation, but I want to get to like 100,000 before I do that. I'm just going to bank as much as I possibly can. Um, it kind of feels as if nobody else is in like a really good wonder position. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Is anybody really threatening wonder? Maybe. The thing is, we just can't go wonder while while Pink's doing this. You know, it's it's just not possible. A lot of stone towers from Teal. Teal is playing what? Um, he's playing Ottomans in the corner. Okay, could be a threat for sure. It's been a very peaceful kind of political game. Do we want to get elite crossbows? No, thank you. All right, traders, keep it going. 64 a pop. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's uh, whip some more of those out. You see, peace is doing good for us. Um, could we wonder race? I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, we never got the final food upgrades. That's really potato. We probably have 60,000 food in our bank right now. Let's get the burning oil as well. Somebody bought all the stone. Yeah, people have been buying stone. Okay. Enemy destroyed Nomad AoE's landmark. So Nomad is dying, which is good. Um, I just need to find a way to get that wonder before they can. Oof. So selling a lot of wood, buying a little bit more stone. Stone exchange rate is, is abysmal now. It's, it's really bad. I don't think yellow could really, it, yellow can't really help me with pink because if he does, the problem is, is um, he, he, he disrupts my trade when he moves across. Oh, I have to delete traders to, to get more military supply or villagers. 
Which I, I want to, I want more food. I do have the quad TC, so I could probably, um, probably do it all over again here. Okay, so let's cancel. These are all coming from the base. We want to cancel all these. A couple land snakes mixed, uh, mixed in, never hurt anybody. We're about to get the precision crossbreeding, so it's going to be 15% here. Yeah, this is this is like a Dune Spice Wars game a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of is. All right, so sleep, you guys. The Rams, I, dude, I can't believe Rams only cost one supply. That's insane to me, how cheap they are. All right, so let's try, let's test the waters of a conflict right now. So we are going to delete like a portion of our villagers here. And I think we have an okay enough bank. All right, so let's gather our troops. Let's run up, let's run up. And just make like the absolute potato quality units. Let's do this, set up some towers here. And I'll keep buying stone in the process, trying to get to the 6,000. China's gonna respond with a big ass army and just crush me right now. But the, 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 the tactic is attrition. It, it is a war of attrition. No, oh, hello. So right in, right in the old uh, breach there. As long as our hand cannoneers live, I'm happy. Okay, they're gonna get blasted here. Let's go loose formation, get up in the walls. The rams are definitely being annoying, but not doing too much. All right, so let's do this. We got our hand cannoneers up in the walls. So let's test his bank and see what it looks like. We got a culverin, so the culverin hopefully can start popping these nest of bees in the face through the gatehouse here. Here, here, and here. All right. Here we go, he's trying to shoot those. It's fine, just let the rams knock the walls down. A little bit of progressive conflict. Get you back up on the walls. I don't have that many hand cannon here, so. Gotta keep those guys alive if we can. And then the rams, the do host. I believe we have more than that here, don't we? Yeah, I was gonna say, we should have more than that. And culverin, shoot this, this, and this. Knock the walls down. If we can just get a breach. It's gonna be pretty big, a couple of breaches, perfect. All right. So as it opens up more, we're just gonna make like these kind of units. All right, let's get here. Our food seems to be holding together pretty well. All right, let's get you back. Our little wall defense is like what's what it's all about though. Shit, okay, so let's kill these horsemen. And um, yeah, the nest of bees we're not quite able to hit. Uh-huh. Just keep the Ramstein coming, just be as annoying as possible. Yes, use our shitty wooden units and keep buying stone too. Progress seems to be getting made. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of horsemen here. Okay, so let's get you guys attacking. Culverin in position um, here. Try and shoot you. Horsemen and archers. Give me that nest of bees. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Let's go through there. Keep the party going. Let the good times roll. Knock down this wall here. Rams are still going hard. Fortunately, the culverin's going to die, probably. Yeah, food's going a little bit. You know, we're, we're starting to hurt a little bit in the food department. All right, so let's get you guys down here and do this. I love being up on the walls, though, with these hand cannoneers. It's so cost effective. All right, so let's keep knocking these down. Let's go for the Great Wall Gatehouse. Let the horsemen ride down the artillery, please. Archers, just basically cheap units. Go, my rams, go. Knock down walls, make it annoying to rebuild. And then you knock these down, too. The nest of bees cackling behind the walls are pretty funny, for sure. I don't know how rich he is. That's the problem. He could be richer than me. 
And uh, in that case, then, you know, this is this is not going to work out well. A couple minute arms going to mace that shit down. Okay, some progress is being had. Let's get you guys up on the walls, and then you guys get up on these walls. And now let's mix in some, I guess we can mix in like some good quality artillery. Go my rams. Oh, my rams are knocking my own guys off the walls. Pretty funny. Okay, I'm like, I'm like kind of destitute in, in terms of wood. You know, spamming rams is cute and all until, uh, until you're, you know, a little bit tight on money and then, then you start to suffer. Okay, let's get up on the walls, get up on the walls, keep trying to trade here. I might need to rebuild my food eco here. A lot of these guys are going pretty deep into enemy territory, but we have successfully pushed the walls. Let's see if we can dash these cap through and get the snipe on these. That'd be nice. Uh, it's going to be hard. He's still got a lot of guys in the gatehouse. Okay, let's start making some gold units. Get to those bombardos. Gonna let me through the gatehouse. Come on. Can I get through my own gatehouse, please? There we go. All right. He did it for us. It's outstanding. Now we just charge and cackle all the way to the bank. Um, you see, our food bank is starting to diminish pretty heavily, though. Okay, let's get this. Get this. It's insane how fast those things are. Those cannons. They're, they're true track stars. But, you know, without them, it's gonna be hard to make progress. All right, cool. I mean, we are both getting weakened pretty substantially by this. Yeah, so we're just gonna ram down like every wall we can. Mainly grenadiers and whatnot. Um, let's get some culves or some springs, some archers. Perfect. Okay, the mortal combat continues. Let's see if we can find any artillery. It looks like we found a bombard right there. We're starting to get the momentum, it looks like, I would say. Yep, another bombard cannon is down. China's being forced back ever so slowly with a big, big emphasis on slow. Still have a little bit of food eco. Okay, let's move up together, move up together, keep farming these guys. Let's go get his towers here. Here, 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 here. Keep working on all these. Men at arms. It's a good thing we built this forward infrastructure, though. Jeez. He wonders why I'm going for him as he's controlling all the trade. <laughs> and I'm just a rat in the corner starving, dude. Oh, man. All right. Let's get you to knock down these walls here. We got the nice artillery corps, which is letting us out trade his army pretty well that he doesn't have. And just got to keep uprooting all these. Meanwhile, what do we got? 19 bills. Okay, so it looks like pink is going to shut down our trade. Unfortunately, you know, there's not much we can do about that. On the bright side of things, though, it does allow us to get rid of our, um, or start trading here, or trying to at least. So we are going to do a more direct style of trade. Progress. Give it to me. Give me the progress. I will trade. I will take one trade for another. All right, let's get you here. Rams are coming in. Look, look, he's he's not happy. Nanu, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, Nanu. I swear. We're still friends. Okay, let's get on the keep. Get that tower there. Could do some keep drops on this myself, but you know we're we're trading under fire now. Man, we had a we had a pretty good food bank here. There's waves and waves of old palace guard coming in. All right, let's get on those hand cannoneers. Let's make some more of those. We're just like dominating the artillery aspect of the fighting, so that's pretty pretty money for us. Let's go here and then pop these nest of bees if we can. Nice nest of bees from him. That was very smooth. Come on, let's dive those. Give me the keep. All right, we've almost pushed him back. Uh-huh, it's fine. Let's just keep walling and keep pushing. 
China's definitely struggling here. They're they're hurting. Tur Turam. I know, that's what I feel like now. I feel like the, the Turam. Yes, let the trade flow, precious. It's another keep here? Jeez, Louise, this man, this man. He is, a, he is an overlord of trade, that is for sure. Okay, a couple hand cannoneers coming this way. Let's hit him with the uh, the Razzle Dazzle. The Manganels of the gods. Rams coming in. Alright. Coming down here. Give him the Jesus. Nice snipe, though. He took down a couple of them there. That keep's going to fall, though, for sure. And, uh, yeah, let's make the mangoes again. They were very effective at pushing back a lot of his stuff. All right, Rams. Let's go after this gatehouse here. Create a bit of an opening. Keep moving, keep moving. Pull back to the artillery. Get the hand cannoneers up in the walls. Men at arms there. You pop that, and the nest of bees are still cruising for a bruising. Yeah, I mean, this he's super rich. He's literally making palace guard hand cannoneer mostly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain this war for too much longer, because I'm starting to get a little tight on resources. I mean, it's going okay. We definitely did some damage, I and mean, we pushed back keeps, but is it worth it at the end of the day? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so our traders are basically gone, so now we need to just get our food eco back. Yeah, and just get that operation going again. Okay, you shoot this. The nest of bees popping out, it is. So let's get that. One more shot. Nice. I think we don't have the momentum anymore. So we gotta just we gotta just pull back and batten down the hatches. Yeah, he's still very, very Pink must be real rich, producing mass hand cannons. Plus a uh, palace. Not sure where he's trading prob bot. Yeah, most people would probably fold under that, but I think he's he's got trade on bot, would be my guess. Um, that would be my humble guess. Yeah, because I, I had a pretty good bank of 40,000 food, and I went through it all. All right. So let's keep these traders going. Where are they going? Are there anything on the docks? I don't think so. We can try a split push. It's not a bad idea. Do like a Ramstein, like a little do hosting here. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's just get some trebs and just clear out all those walls. All right, so you guys go down here. Let's get this. There's not too much chance in trading at the moment. That's for sure. We'll get our uh, trebs up in a second and go for it. Yeah, so we're just going to rebuild our surplus now. We almost have enough stone to wonder, which is, you know, kind of our plan. But getting gold again is going to be near impossible, I feel. It's going to be really, really hard. We made some progress. You know, we killed like three or four keeps and a lot of favorable trades for us. But from here, I don't suspect we're going to be able to do too much more. All right, trebuchets. Let's get them. Okay. Uh, let's just do this. Knock down all these walls. Just slowly free up our uh, border there, basically. Yeah, we need to keep some standing army too. Let's see if the traders are allowed to go. Nope, not gonna happen, okay. Could be a counter attack here. And um, we probably wanna reseal this breach, if possible. Is there any other ways to trade here? Let's go see if there's like a dock here. Nanu might have a dock in that corner I can actually trade with. Let's go see if we can. We still have 27 traders, which is awesome. Oh shit, he's actually attacking. Okay, I don't know if I can stop him. Honestly, his army is pretty good. He's he's got he's got some some nastiness going on. Let's call these horsemen around the back. Um, traders are just gonna flee the scene. Anu is here. Yeah, I need to just just get ready to defend. I am very, very poor at the moment. We had such a nice food eco, but no longer. The horseman flank. Kill the artillery. Nice, nice. I'll take it. 
Hey, I'll take the scraps. All right. Nice, we got all the hand cannoneers too. Cool. I'm actually happy with that trade. That was very cost effective. All right, let's get in. 15 of you guys. Let's go get on Lumber again. See if we can rebuild the Great Lumber Empire. Yes. The tanky Chinese artillery. Can we actually, like, run further back here? I don't know if we can. All right, let's get you guys behind the walls. Yeah, I sus it's too suspicious that he's not using that trade. It's it's very weird. I'm happy to just do this all day. Can we get through here? No, doesn't look like it. He doesn't even have any gates for his own guys, so he really probably just threw that up right now. Uh, any reason to make rams? Not really. Okay, where do we go? Yeah, he's building those. A couple pals guard found their way back here. So that's going to be the end of my blessed trebuchets. How the hell did he get through there? Oh, it looks like there was a breach. Okay, so we need to just officially wall this now. Officially, because we could lose our forward frontier. I mean, it would take like 10 years to kill it. You know, it would take a long time, but it still could happen. Uh, Palace Guard just kind of running around, having fun. Just waiting to, waiting to meet their end. He's very rich. He's very rich. I mean, these are all Palace Guard, all Cannoneers. This whole army. I have to just survive, basically. Because I'm on one relic. I can't compete with him too much. Okay, let's do that. And, uh, you know, this is good. He's pointing out my glaring weaknesses here. We can easily rebuild Vils. That's not an issue. Okay, so let's get those walls set up. And we might need to just fall back to our inner sanctum. We have a couple guys fighting still, but I don't know. It's probably not going to be enough. Could build some keeps, but yeah, it's fine. We have like 500 extra villagers. I can't keep up with his money. He's too rich. He's all gold units. I don't know how the rest of the game is going, though. Somebody's probably going to slap down a wonder. Okay, so let's do five and seven and make that five again. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep chasing these guys down. Gather troops here where we can. It's just straight up potato units. It's all we can make. It's just absolute trash units. Uh, pink is very strong. He's all gold units. So he's trading. Not sure where. Yeah, he's 100% trading. All right, let's move up here. Let's gather our units. And we can we can throw down like a keep here. I think it's probably worth it. The the wonder is kind of not really in the books right now for a while. Okay, the traders can just kind of try and stay alive somewhere. I don't know where he's trading. I'm genu genuinely curious. Okay, how are we looking on the farms? Okay, so let's pull back. Yeah, I wonder. It must be on the bottom. Okay, Nanu's dying. Yeah, he's he's very he's very wealthy. Nanu Nanu though, on the other hand, is suffering over there. Maybe they are allied. Maybe there's a trade alliance between those two. That would that would actually make some sense. That would make some sense. Some sort of a strange strange alliance of sorts. Yeah, the traders. Is there anything we can reach here? Let's go see if we can find anything. Okay, so let's just clear out the, the scraps, because it's going to become harder for him to push now. You know, I was the one pushing on him, so that put me in the bad position, but now he has to push to me, so it's going to be a little bit harder. It's going to take years to destroy all these buildings. Alright. So knock down that spring ult. Um, Do we have any vills laying around who aren't doing anything? Let's get you guys down here and see if we can, like, set up something. I wonder how he knew. Yeah, he saw the trade over there. He must have scouted it. We got a lot of wood. Our food economy is not fully back online yet. So let's get that fully operational. No sense in fighting out there. We must have at least drained some resources, I would hope. Okay, does Nanu have a dock here? Let's go see. Okay, we can fight here in the choke point. Where his numbers count for slightly less. Um, any trade? We're just looking for the potato scraps here. Palace Guard trying to dive. 
make as many men at arms as we can. Teal looks like he's killing Nanu. <laughs> I love how we're just scouting with the blob of traders. It's so funny. All right, so we are going to do a little Mission Impossible on the river, and I'm going to go set up on the other side so I can get some, like, intel as to what the hell's going on. Because I have no idea what's happening this game. All right, the food eco should be popping again. We should be at a very healthy 2,000 a minute. Um, just a couple of palace guard cleaning, cleaning us out over there, so production not going to be usable for a while. Wow, holy shit, the Ottomans. Na so Nanu's dead. Yeah, the Imperial Palace lets him scout. Yeah, absolutely. No, oh, come on, come on, now, Ottomans. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just here to, I'm here in peace. Here with peace and love. All right. Uh, yeah, just keep kind of grinding here in the front. We're not going to make too much progress. Our base would be hard to get into for sure. Um, perfect. So we get in here. I'm going to go sail across the river and see what's going on. Keep looking for opportunities to find trade. Yeah, you know, that's really what it's all about. China's probably back to just gathering resources again. Um, wow, holy shit, look at that. Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe we can get a mutually beneficial relationship here. So, I am not fighting Teal, okay? China is still having a good old jolly time at my expense. But maybe, maybe, maybe we just get some docks up here and we do our own trade network. Do you want that, Teal? The goodies? I have to see if he wants it. Because I'll delete the docks if he uh, if he keeps going at it. Okay, we literally have one gold. I don't know if he's going to... How he's gonna do it. Um, green is still here. We could make a lot of rams, but I feel like it's kind of pointless. They're just gonna get intercepted. Our one relic money. So I am going to sell a bunch of wood and try and make a bunch of trade ships. And if he lets me trade with him here, then I will happily, happily um, chill out. Make a keep here. But it has to go both ways. If he if he cuts me off, then you know deal deals off. Oh yes. All right, Teal. You, you had your chance. No no deal here. We're, we're deleting our beloved docks. Canceling this keep. All right. So let's go over here. We could have had something truly special together, you and I. Um, as far as this goes, probably just make some of these to defend. China's just going to keep attacking the, the frontal vanguard here, probably. It's going to be really hard for them to get through into the base, though, like really difficult. It's going to take them a, a hot minute for sure. It's weird, you can't build like a lot of the space here, it's very, very strange. Go forth, my villages, and prosper. Cannons, uh, let's get a culv. Culverin, for the Culverin God. Can we get a dock here? Is it possible? Okay, we're in our base. I was gonna drop a keep to try and hold that, but you know, he didn't. He didn't want to share. There's no sharing here. He was a greedy man. Man, you can't build docks anywhere here. Okay. So we got a max supply army. Pretty okay quality, actually. We could probably steamroll the Chinese attackers here. They want to come through this. Oh, that's right, the mountain pass. I always forget about this. This is like the sheep's path from 300, where like Ephialtes, uh, you know, lets the Spartans or lets the uh, lets the the other side in. All right, let's get on the bombard. Attack! Attack! Palace guard trying to run by, but not getting a whole lot done. And um, let's do this, and then reseal that. That's going to cut off the Chinese reinforcements, most likely. And uh, prepare to party. All right, let's gather up here. Have fun pushing in the old choke point. I'm even going to send some rams in to just really clog things up. 
All right, so there we go. Villager setting up the walls. We're happy to party in the choke against all these melee units. Archers. Yes, farm them, precious. Farm them. As long as we don't lose the ground fight here, I don't know. It's going to be a Trixie Hobbitses. Oh, he found us. Let's see if we can run away. All right, so as expected, you know, the person who has to attack. But he's he's clearly still got money. I don't know where it's coming from, but he's he's got it. We just have to, like, corner rat and, uh, you know, do that. And he's trying to set up forward infrastructure now, so we can just call it the Ramstein and just destroy it, hopefully mitigate his finances a little bit. Set up a gatehouse here. Yeah, alrighty. So rams are coming. Probably not going to be able to hold this. Apparently there's some, uh, according to what I'm seeing in chat, there's some alliances on the other side, like legit alliances, but I don't, I don't know how much I believe it. It's pretty rare you get some, like, people actually just teaming. Very, very uncommon. Alright, so let's get you to shoot the nest to be. Get the mangonels to shoot into the blob here. You get on this. Almost got it down. Rams are pushing him back. And um, that's a weird spot to be open there. That's for damn sure. And go, my rams. Knock back his palace guard infrastructure. We actually have enough for more rams, too. Rams to the ram god. Rams to the ram throne. All right, how are we looking here? Any vulnerabilities or anything? Not really. Okay, let's uh, get a couple more of those. Looks like a messy little fight, but I think we push back the infrastructure, so that will delay the aggression. At which point we can uh, we can hopefully have some time to rebuild. China wants it. He's 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 a he's a tyrant. He's a financial tyrant for sure. The one relic HRE certainly not doing me any favors. Okay, let's gather you guys up here. Speed, I'm in. Archer man. Might need to get a little bit more um, farm eco now. All things considered. Alright, cool. So these rams can get in there, and then these rams can come and uh, attack. We'll, we'll use the dreaded melee attack ram. Train in the wilds. I think I just need to straight up build, like, keeps to survive here, guys. I think that's what's going to go down, because it's going to be pretty hard to... Um... So a little bit of this, and uh, let's get some mangoes, because they're pretty damn good in the choke points here. How is he affording all this? Man, he's so rich. Alright, let's sneak some of you guys to Sneaky Sneaky. Come under here and here and wall that to screw up the pathing. I wonder, how is Nanu still alive, by the way? I wonder how that's going. Oh, dude, I got one relic, bro. I got no way to afford anything. I mean, there is there, I don't think there's any trade options or anything I could really do. Let's just do some, like, haggard rams there. Um, yeah, no, why are we making rams? That's stupid. We don't need them here. Make some men-at-arms. A couple of those bad boys mixed in. And, um, we do have a huge opening right here. Jeez. That could have been a disaster. Just a bunch of 500 palace guard running through. Okay, is he shooting at something? Yeah, I, I, hear, I hear the bombard sounds. Oh, let me do some hand stretches. Nomad still fighting Teal? I'm genuinely curious what's going on down there. It's weird. Some weird stuff. Alright, um... We get 159 gold a minute from our Regnets. We do have a, a fair amount of wood income. It's not terrible. He's motivating the people. Let's get you over there. And, um, Palace Guard mostly with spears. Horsemen. And, uh, yeah, I mean, good luck cracking each other's base, huh? Could do another keep here. Like, off to the side, although we don't really have room. Is there any reason to come out? Let's go see if we can find his artillery sitting around. 
with the Rams. We'll go see if we can find any freebies. Keep this Manganel back. We're just going to take these troopers out. Um, Wood probably going to be in some danger over here. Rams are coming. Let's go take down these Chinese barracks. Stretch hydrate chat. Yes, all of it. Called it. Grand Conspiracy. This is what I, I am plagued with, with curiosity. Like, I am really curious where he's getting his goodies from. All right, Rams, you guys do your job. Let's go get these, get the Bombard. A couple of you guys go get that. Perfect, so we just killed all of his artillery again. If we could just keep doing that, then he'll never get in. Yes, good, Anakin, good. Let the hate flow on the free artillery. A couple more bases going down. And the ramp. Yes, perfect, so we can just keep working on these old walls. Bre sealing that breach is a funny idea, but I don't know how realistic it is. I guess we can just start torching these. Why not? I suspect he's like busy with something. The way he's like pushing is kind of like relaxed. I could I could go fishing in the back. Okay, his palace guard. When they're like swarming, they look like little ants. Like the uh, the way their like weapons wave, it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's a waste of stone. It's a waste of stone for sure. Let's delete that. How are we looking here? Chinese army's on its way through again. Just hitting random walls with our rams. Just trying to be annoying. You know, because when you do that, it, it, it's stone Stone is, is a very sparse resource late game. So Let's go out and test our might. We have a lot of uh, men-at-arms in this army, so maybe it'll, maybe it'll trade a little bit better. All right. Okay, so where's that going? I don't know why there's a gatehouse building there, but we don't want it. Let's ride by, see if we can find any arty. Perfect. Alright, so running and diving the artillery again, just to make sure there's no progress. And the rest of you guys can attack here and here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that, he's even trying to bring some rams, isn't that cute? Good fight. Good fight for us. No siege will make it by. Maybe maybe one. Nope, not gonna happen. We got those hand cannoneers. Let's get some archers. Look for any free artillery while we can. We're just defending because here's the thing. We have the corner. So we we can just really, really be, you know, very chill in the corner area. You know, whereas he is a little bit more exposed to the elements, you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping that that will be a variable. All right, so I would imagine the Rams will come. Sell some wood. Let's get some mangoes. Culves could be cool. Um, let's get another cannon emplacement here. Take this, this, and how? Do, what does it look like over here? Oh, there's... Holy shit. Oh, is there? Oh, oh, God. That's what it is. I found his trade, by the way. All right, let's get you guys over here. I know where his trade is now. Um, let's get you guys up here and here. All right, so horsemen, let's see if they can get there. If the horsemen can run past them here, that would be pretty huge. Um, so we're just going to like block here. Do this. Okay, Rams, do this, this. Yeah, keep destroying the walls and shit. He's trading with Red's dead dock. I bet. That's what it is. That's brutal. Alright, so let's destroy these walls so we can slip through easier. And go down here and see if we can get that dock. That's If that's the case, that's going to be really nasty. Alright, so let's go scout and see. Yeah, because we, we see Red's dead dock from earlier. The Red Dead Redemption. Dude, he's all money. Like, his armies are so good. Oh my god, filth. Okay. Pink trading backside. No threats. Alright, so we just figured it out. We just figured out what's going on here. Looks like they seem to have found a way through the mountains, which is pretty annoying. 
Alrighty. Okay, so that makes that makes it a lot a lot more sense. And now we can get some dude hosting coming over here too. I knew that I knew he was trading. It's like it's it would he was just there's no way he would survive that pressure without having trade. Ping trading backside no threats. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Okay. Looks like some nice salt to this game, which is great. We're gonna we're gonna go for a broke over here. See if we can get these down. Take his wood. And I don't know, maybe he doesn't have the supply lines to deal with pressure over here. Who knows? Let's help each other kill Teal then. Okay, it looks like there's some sort of an armistice being reached on the other side. Some sort of peace agreement. Um, Alright, so let's take these horsemen do another run by. While the distraction still goes. And we need to just kill this dock. Like straight up. The rest of the army here can hopefully fight. We need to get the dock. Yes, good. Alright, we got in. I don't know if that's going to be enough. It's only 12 horsemen, but um, we're going to try our best. Oh, the villagers ended up fighting in the choke. It's fine. We'll run by. We'll get there, hopefully. And if we can kill this trade, I'm pretty sure we could win in, like, straight fighting. Okay. So what do we got? Eh, we don't have enough. No, we don't have enough pressure. Hmm. Scrap them out. We're trying. We are trying. It's It ain't easy. They've got a lot of advantages over us. Okay, hand cannoneers and company are coming. The random tower is dying over there. We do have enough to produce a lot of, like, potato tier units. Which maybe, maybe can do it. Okay, so let's delete some of these walls to make, like, a more direct route also. Outstanding. Push them back. Go, my rams. Go, my pretties. Pretty funny, a little split push there. Is there any cavalry I could pull? A couple. Okay, maybe they won't notice this one. Let's we'll see. The villainous, the villainous side trade is real. All right, so let's path in, path in here. This is like my my one of my last chances. Like I need to shut this shit down. Like stat. Is this just? It's so strong. It's giving my opponent such an advantage over me. The Rams are going in pretty hard. Um, there's another dock there, but they can just repair it. So let's knock this down. Okay, how are we looking? Couple Rams at the gates. No problem. Ram the old walls. All right, let's get to the dock. Oh, those are all like range units. Okay, pathing just is weird here. All right, take down these these uh, rifles. They look a little isolated, so maybe we're going to be able to. Who knows? Come on, boys. Don't know how we're going to get through there. It's it's tough. That gold gravy train is really 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 nice for him. All right, so keep going. Some rams are coming in. Just a couple random-ass rams from before. It's fine. We'll just grab three horsemen and just go sit there. It's pure hand cannoneers. So we've basically been fighting just against full trade this whole game. Wilds. I'm going to need some uh, resources here, though. So I'm starting to hemorrhage them. I'm going to have to go back on the defense. At least now I know what the threat is. Okay, I have an idea, actually. I have a cheeky little idea. All right, so let's get you guys do this. Um, any ram pressure? Not really. We grab some of you, Prelate, Friar Chuck. Come down here. We just got to find a way to get those docks. In my regnets. Oh, or Nomad, are you gone now? Okay. Teal and pink are huge. Yeah, we got the Rams here, of course. 
I mean, is there any sense in fighting here? Not really. It is a nice little choke point. Also, I'm dead. Yeah, it seems like one of them is probably favored to win this game. Because I, I can hold for a while. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright. Let's run down here. Can I not get down there? I think I should be able to. Alright, Lumberjacks. Go to the corner here. Hole up in the base and see what we can get done. That's basically it. And when you do that... And do this. And then do this. Just gotta be like as ratty as possible in the corner. That's how we won the first game, you know. Oh, it's the TC here that was killing me. Okay. Perfect. We'll let the TC kill that, that Spearman. Okay, where are the attacks coming from? Just the one. Um, maybe over here. His army's chilling there. Okay, we need to make some, like, wood units. We are just so devoid of resources. Did anybody make it down there? Come on, villagers. Really? Nobody made it? So trapped in here. Trapped like a rat. I could make a million scouts and just do a scout dive. Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking of, like, making scouts so at least I have something to torch... Torch Rams with, so it's going to be a scout-based army here. Um, where will the attack come from? I mean, it is a big army. Alright, lads. Prob's dead here. He's full of trade versus none. Probably toast. I gotta put out my, you know, last, last call for allies. See if we can get anybody to roll in. Um, let's delete these. Build a keep here. And do this. Alright, so these guys. Let's get the lumberjack going here. And here. That, dude, look at that. He's got 60 hand cannoneers. Oh, that's such a good army, dude. Oh my god, that's such a good army. I don't know how we can get through that. Alright, let's do this. Go Mission Impossible down here, 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 and then here. He is looking extra tyrannical here. So we are going to set up a couple keeps. We'll have one here too. Mangoes are probably one of our only bets in choke points. Okay, back to the farms you go. Here, here, uh, here, and then here. Okay, our eco is coming back in terms of basic resources. This is going to be a hard hold, though. This spot is, is, isn't particularly strong. Um, keeps coming up, though. We're using all the, the wonder resources. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of mangonels. That's basically going to be our only bet. Okay, let's repair that. Let's distract him here. Distract him here. Fan out in a million different directions. You won't be able to see them all. Perfect, perfect. Alright, so... We've been able to keep the rams at bay. Uh, the hand cannoneers obviously can't break through any walls. And let's get you up in the corner. <laughs> yeah, he's got no melee. It's just all hand cannoners. Oh, man. Okay, we're still alive, though, which is good. We managed to get our docks up. He wasn't able to keep up with us there. It's good. Alright, let's get you back. Let's get you back. Just bank in the corner. Just chilling, dude. Naval trade, maybe. Could be a thing. Alright, let's get a uh, transport ship and go do some scouting. Perfect. And um, can we afford good units? We can. We can actually make horsemen now. So we could maybe even beat his army, which would be really funny. With our potato ass force. Um, Ottoman's trading 91. Alright, so let's go see what this looks like around here. And go see what the entire water situation looks like. 
Yeah, Teal's probably gonna win. I think. Well, it's me, Nanu. Nanu seems pretty beat up. J. Cole is very strong. He's been trading the entire game. Um, you know, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Okay, we see that. Let's see if there's any, like, options for enable trade here. Okay, so let's get you. Yeah, you just do your shoreline fishing. There's a keep there, which is fine. The main army's just waiting for the inevitable attack in our blessed corner position, with an emphasis on blessed for sure. It's pretty damn nice. Um, 57 wood villagers, probably too much. Okay, let's go scout a little bit more. Unfortunately, getting to that's going to be very hard. So let's do a little bit of this. You guys will see. There's schemes. There's schemes on schemes. We'll see if you notice that. I'm not sure. Go here. Just trade there for now. It's better than nothing. It's, what, 8 and 8? Nice. Dude, the big plays. Okay, I don't think he's paying attention here, so we could probably kill his um, his entire hand cannon your army, which would be a massive gold sink for him. Okay. Mango and mango. Mango. Yep, whole army's gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna fold that up. Can't believe we've been able to survive against this shit. How much is it? 8 and 8? God, that's so bad. Oh, yes. Run into your doom. You might get one mango if you're lucky. Nope, nope, not today. Yeah, that was super cost effective. All right, so let's go um, ram the walls a little bit if we can. Okay, we need to do some better scouting. See if there's anything like over here. All right, so that's going to be wood. That's going down. Make an alliance? I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying to survive. I think that's one of my strengths in this game, is I'm really good at being like surviving and just barely having anything. As a result of my haggard play. Okay, let's keep looking around, seeing what lies beyond in the water. The eight trade, not so good. Definitely a lot going on here. Maybe he's, he's going to probably go Wonder now, for sure. Okay, destroyed fleets. Oh, hello. Um, okay, I want something. Okay, let's see that. That could certainly be a change in fortune. That's enough docks there. Okay, our 129 gold is going strong. And uh, yeah, we got our little cute army here at home. All sunshine and rainbows. All right, so let's do that, and then this, this. Delete those. All right. Let's optimize that. Um, yes and yes. So big trade going down from the Ottomans. Ottomans are just steamrolling units into um into that area, hundred percent. Oh, let's get rid of the archers. Oh, I do have fifty archers here. They're pretty useful actually. Let's cut these. All right, so let's get that party going. And then here, and here, those were formerly my walls. China looks like they want more, so I might need to build a full army here, we'll have to see. Hopefully not. 
Okay, now they're just taking down the, the Palisades there, it looks like. Alright, so down here, and then... Hmm, I don't know if there's going to be any ways in. We'll have to see. Alright, let's go over here and check it out. Go forth and prosper, my minions. China looking a little aggressive here, mainly just killing a couple of Palisades. All good. All good in the neighborhood. It's a decent, decent. For sure. Especially if we make sure it's on that one. Where's my last one? It sounds like he's he's looking for landmarks here. Okay, let's go attack that army real quick. Okay, perfect. So. Get you. Get you. All right, it's a pretty far trade. All right, pulling back up under the walls. Yeah, we're going to need some serious, serious action here. Okay, let's go get that. The Manganels of the Gods doing it. Yes, my minions, yes. Yes, rise. Rise, minions, rise. Your docks belong to me. Oh, that's a lot of lag, wow. Somebody just pulled a lag switch or something. They're like, oh god, I need time to react to this. Oh, this feels so good. This is just such justice. Here we go. Okay, let's go up here, get this one. Yellow and I are just literally rubbing our sausages together here. Uh-huh. He doesn't know how I got through. It's pretty funny, huh? Oh, is he going to repair that one? Maybe. He's going to be able to save the last one. But we'll just do the same thing again, and he probably won't notice it. Alright, so did we seal that breach? We did. Great. And the palace guard shouldn't have gotten very far. Very cool. Um, let's do that again. But we're going to need some more. So now he's only got one left. That was a pretty big victory for us. It basically took off all the frontal pressure. Um, you guys get back to the wood line. Unfortunately, they're being killed by that base. Alright, so let's get the GCs. Yeah, Wonder's coming up. I feel like attacking here is stupid. Um, can we emergency repair that? No, doesn't look like that's going to work either. Wonder's coming up on the backside. This is huge though. The fact that we have all this naval trade, we'll be able to eventually beat the Chinese, for sure. All right. Just capture sacred. Yeah, we could just have him capture the sacred and force a delete, which is fine. Although the Ottomans are coming. Man, Nanu is just getting steamrolled here. How's this coming out? 36 and 36? Cool. Um, Wonder is still being built. Wow, he ha barely has any villagers building that. It's really slow. Alright. I wish I had a little bit of stone to rebuild this wall, but I'm just such a potato that it's not even possible. We're gonna try that run by one more time. Ottomans are just have a just a blood a blood feud against this man. Um, currently our military is pretty big. So like these guys. We need to seal that for sure. The haggard run by was my favorite part. We're gonna run in here to you know be like distract him a little bit. All right, so the wonder is there. We're attacking here. He seems to have discovered his haggard folly. 
So we're just going to make a mad dash for it and see if we can get it. Um, and yeah, he's going to grab Sacreds, which is going to be good. It's, it's a win-win for everyone. Outstanding. And, um, cool. So you got the Sacreds, we're good. And that should force the delete, I would imagine, if you can hold them. <laughs> oh, now he's finally going to suffer like us. With no money. I've been suffering so hard this game against him, dude. Just no money against his money. Alright, so who's got it? Yeah, this gentleman here? Alright, let's get these bards. Yes, let the hate flow. Alright. So now we just need to defend the sacreds. His trade should be offline here. He's not happy about that. But now, if the wonder gets defeated, I actually have a chance against him, is the difference, right? Whereas before, I had no chance of winning, so... We need to figure out a way... Okay, I have an idea. So, Janissaries. Alright. So, let's get our army come down this way. Let's head up a gatehouse here. His trade is officially gone. But we have the sacred threat. How is he not capping it? Oh, the Janissary man is there. Okay. Is he going to be able to beat him? He should be able to. All right. Well, anyways, we're going to plan our play now, too. Okay, let's do this. Get you villagers to come down here. Uh, let's do that, and then this. No more trade to deal with from Pink. So, we are safe-ish now. I'm not going to obviously attack him anymore. I want to win the game, so... Um, we have our naval trade, so we're kind of pimping a little bit. Let's do this, do that. It's going to be a little bit better. Moving to the south, and we need to um, play something here on the water. Did he manage to hold it? Let's delete these guys. Get out of his base. Looks like he did. Okay, Teal. Better delete Wonder. Else Pink gets it. I'm happy to give Pink the win, you know, because if uh, we got to punish the greed. You People in the community need to learn that lesson. Because, yeah, I mean, maybe he can come across, but... I'm still going to scheme a dive on Teal. Okay, it looks like he's here with a little bit of an army doing God knows what. Um, what does our military look like? It's pretty good. Get rid of these damn scouts, too. A fair amount of scouts in our army. I, dude, I have no idea how Nanu is still alive. I genuinely have no idea. It's just, it's just madness. All right, perfect. So let's cut these, get transport ships. You had your chance, <laughs> you had your chance, Pink. You know, he had his moment where he could have got me when I had no money, but now the, um, now it, it, the tide may have turned a bit. Kill your mortal enemy earlier. You're good now. All right. So, Nanu's houses are, have been obstructing me anyway, so. Man, how are we going to do this? Um, I think we do this. We do some siege workshops. And we do some like weird naval landings, because we can land right here and get in like trebuchet range really quickly. Oh wow, that's, a, that's an army there, jeez. He's still trying to kill Nanu super hard. Um, I could lose my trade here, which would be a very sad face, but it is what it is. Thankfully, a lot of them are getting picked off. Man, he just wants to kill Nanu so bad. Look at him. He's just ignoring my whole army and going straight for Nanu. Uh, Teal. You, you gonna delete? Time's running out, dude. Because I'm not going to be able to rip that sacred site from him very easily. Sacred will beat you. So just for the entertainment of you guys. So sacred timer is ahead. 
trying to explain it to him. And uh, let's make a bunch of rams. Do that. Um, uh, right click and delete it. Then we kill, kill pink together. That's my ultimate scheme. That's my ultimate scheme. You know, then we take him down together. Because pink has no trade anymore. He still probably has a huge surplus, but... Alright, cool. So let's get you guys. Do that. And then we can do a little bit of this as well. Teal, time is ticking. Unless you can stop him and win. I'm like explaining it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's doable. It's doable. But it ain't easy. Pink is, is pretty sauced here. Because you pretty much lose now. But every second makes it worse. Because, yeah, he's probably going to... I mean, if he doesn't... If he deletes it at the last second, that's going to be crazy. Um... You either lose or lose here. Yeah. I mean, if he thinks he can do a landing against China, you know, that's 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 cool. I don't think that's going to work, though. Oh, it's Nanu. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I could go for the Wonder and the Sacred Sight, but that's like a pretty tall order. Um, okay, the Ottomans are trying. Okay, so let's delete some Woodvilles back at the base. Pre up some supply for the Duhast. Yeah, he's not gonna kill he's not gonna kill the uh, Chinese here. Maybe he'll learn and I'll have a couple minutes to try. Um maybe. Yeah, we got Rams coming. This is pretty obnoxious. We're just gonna have these men at arms start clubbing these guys. Uh, seven. So seven. And then we got five here. Alright, so we're gonna go Ramstein that down. What's it gonna be, brother? What's it gonna be? No, you gotta you gotta people gotta learn if you delete your wonder, I will. See, it's all clicking now. The big the big math. Uh, def not. So what's it gonna be, man? Is he gonna do it? Your choice. Time's running. I am gonna prepare the way. I am gonna prepare my, my, my pushing force. But I'm not gonna reward somebody for being greedy, that's for sure. Because he can still win the game. We just kill pink and then he just builds another wonder. He's been trading the whole time. He's probably super rich. That's exactly what he would say. Up to you, Teal. Either lose here or have a chance after. We're very close to it, you know, we're very close to it. Because the Wonder is holding us hostage. We can't do anything with that, you know. <laughs> Not gonna happen here if you let him win. He says I want to win an FFA. You're not. Gonna... He says I want to win an FFA, but then he won't delete it. He has no chance here. I'm not going to stop pink. I'm just going to kind of soften pink up a little bit. You know? Yeah. I mean, we got two minutes. It's probably too late now, to be honest. But okay, we're gonna we're gonna let let pink deal with teal. And uh, if he manages to beat him here, then, you know, that's that's fine. But I, he's going to have to, you know, play by the play the politics. Honestly, we could have stopped it here, but now he's probably not going to. Yep. I feel like the evil guy in Braveheart who's sitting back and watching. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm, I'm all cool with it. Pink has been a worthy adversary this whole game. Nanu's going for it. Um, if the wonder gets deleted... Sleet Wonder, and I'll try. 
I have so much stuff here, dude. So much just army ready to go. Yeah, and he gets pushed back by China. It was all avoidable, dude. It was all avoidable. You know, we could have won together. We could have won together, brother. But China, China deserves this one more. They, they, you know, he's been playing. He's been playing real good. We finally shut down his trade, though, too. Um, I like how pink is here. I'm just gonna put my guys on stand your ground. I wonder if he's gonna do it. Is he gonna delete it? Mass Trev the Wonder, that would be really funny, but at this point it's too late. We have a minute twenty-two seconds left. I'm genuinely surprised though he's not he's not deleting it. Does he not want to win? I mean he's still in a great position. He has entire cross map trade here. You know, he could definitely be winning this. I'm gonna still work on softening up the Chinese presence here, for sure. You got time to still win, Teal. Maybe, maybe. 51 seconds, man. What are you gonna do? If you delete it, you have a chance. Let's see if he does. Or is he gonna take the fat L to the face? It looks like it's gonna be the fat L, I think. We'll make some more of those. Yeah, I mean like if you land a couple archers against an entrenched Chinese, you're you're not gonna not gonna have too much progress. Three minutes to wonder defeat, twenty-four seconds. GG well played. It was a good that was a good game. A little bit of an anticlimactic ending, but it was still good, you know. We obviously could have stopped the, the capture, but you can't just reward this, you know. You can't reward it. Thrand will ignoring the dwarves though. Yeah, the dwar the dwarves holding a grudge. He could win! He could win this game, dude! He's got the whole bottom of the map to himself. But he won't let go of the greed! I'd almost respect if I wasn't also losing. Greedy. He's so greedy, dude! Well played. Well played, Pink. GG. That was a, that was a weird game. <laughs> Darth Turin going do it? Oh, uh, we could have... He, he would have won that game anyways. Like, he probably had bottom map trade. Let's see. Because Teal... Pink was actually not that strong at the end. Like, Pink's army was not that big. This was all it was. In, like, a little bit. I probably could have ran in there with all this production and just steamrolled it. But, um... I'm not going to give the wonder, the greedy wonder victory. Yeah, I think he was cross-map trading. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like he was. So, the Ottoman player looked... Like he was trading, yeah. I mean, he had full trade going on the side of the map with no one contesting him. The thing is, what you do in that situation, you, you delete your wonder, and then you say, okay, I'll delete the wonder if you guys kill pink with me, right? And then we kill pink, uh, which would be pretty easy with myself and the Ottomans. And then he just builds a wonder against me and I'm dead because I, I wouldn't be able to get down to his lands probably very easily. Very winnable for the Ottomans, unfortunately. Very winnable. Pink, Pink, though, did great. Fought super hard. Uh, got some really cheeky trade. These docks were super sneaky. Super, super sneaky. And, uh, yeah, it was super impressive play. No, Teal's got a lot. This whole bottom area is, is is Ottomans, I think. Yeah, this is all Ottomans. Looks like a French red keep in the corner. Oh, that's what, that's what we got going here. Very cool. Very cool. Dude, shout out to Nanu, too, for just holding, like, an absolute raid boss that game. It looked like Nanu was just, like, on death's bed constantly and just... Somehow did it. Crazy stuff. GG well played. Fun game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the stream, do drop a like on the way out. It helps out quite a bit. And uh, thank you guys all for your donation support. Hanging out today. Really, really excited for the next couple weeks. It is going to be so fun once we get the expansion. I'm so hyped. Um, FFA tournaments. 1v1 tournaments. Uh, I'm going to have a 1v1 tournament at launch. Which um, I have to look into the pick and ban system. But if anybody follows the competitive aid chain, if you could help me find like the standard pick and ban system for best of ones, that'd be really nice. Because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a five hundred dollar tournament. So it's not huge, but it's still good. You know, it's it's coming out of my pocket. Um, so yeah, it'll be fun, and we'll see who wins that one. We'll have like a big launch tournament, and dude, it's going to be great. I appreciate you all. Super fun, man. Uh, weird games today. Like the way I won the first game 
was the exact way that Pink won this game. People refusing to delete wonders. Weird stuff. GG, guys. See you on the other side. Take care of yourselves, and well played to all the mighty opponents here in this match. GG, well played.